Sending it on the line right now. I just, I just sent a reminder. Just now. <laughs> oh, where's this line? Oh, there it is. I'll post it on my snap story. Oh, I just switched it. Yes. All right. Good morning, everybody. If you would take care of whatever last business you need to Yeah, do, um, I just want to send them. And then we will begin. You have the user. I'll just let you know. Okay, thank you. Good morning. Welcome to the IHSA State Series. About 500 teams started this series in regionals. Today we are down to 16 teams, eight each in Class A and Class AA. Congratulations to both teams on making it to the state final. My name is Mike Waterman. I am a teacher, coach, and moderator from Fenton High School in Bensonville. Very happy to be here. Our official scorekeeper is Carrie Cole. Our board scorer from Elmwood High School is Riley. Thank you to our spectators in the room for coming out today to support the teams. We ask you now, please silence your cell phones. All players, please turn off your phones and put them away. Video recording and live streaming are permitted, but not for the purpose of making a recording of the copyrighted questions. The question sets may be purchased from the IHSA for use as practice materials for future years. Good sportsmanship is required of players, subs, coaches, and spectators. As an additional rule clarification, fans are not allowed to communicate with coaches or players during the match unless invited to participate during an appeal as an expert. Any real-time electronic communication between rooms is strictly prohibited. Thank you to Craig Garver, IHSA Assistant Executive Director in charge of Scholastic Bowl for organizing the entire IHSA State Series. Thank you to Heartland College for hosting the State Series. Thank you to Rusty Cole, Tournament Manager, for recruiting and scheduling the adult and student helpers. Players. Please speak clearly, speak up, and enunciate when answering questions. Now we are going to ask teams to introduce themselves, introduce their coach or coaches as you test your buzzer, and also we are going to ask that any current or any players not currently starting the game, so in other words, any potential subs, 
would also introduce themselves as well. We want to give all players on each team an opportunity to introduce themselves in case you don't get an opportunity to get in during the course of the game. So if we could begin with the starting players on the Chicago Patriots. We're the Walt Payne Classical Team, coached by one Felicitas Taylor. Uh, I'm Carl, I think it's my right to my left with their favorite Roman Emperor, Linus Cincinnatus. I'm Jacob and Linus from Liberia. I'm Joshua, Linus Francis Steph from Austria. I'm Addison and I would have to say Alexander Severus or Flavio Stoppard. Uh, Connolly, Max, and Lisa. Thank you. And any players not currently in? Uh, my name's Eleanor and I'm currently in All right. Thank you very much. And the players for Buffalo Grove. Hi, Roman Patton is the East Basketball Team Coach Brother and Bunches, Mr. Russell. Uh, my team has introduced themselves from my left to my left with their favorite chemist. Mine would uh, have to be a wonderful Andrew Park. Uh, I'm Jack, and uh, my favorite chemist uh, would have to be um, uh, Andrew Park. I'm Anthony. I think my favorite chemist is Andrew Park. My name's Daniel, and um, yeah, I'd have to go with Andrew Park. My name is Sasha. Yeah, I'd have to go to Andy Park. Thank you very much. And any players not currently in? I'm Ben, um, and my favorite chemist is probably going to have to be, yeah, probably Mr. Park. Andy Park. Hi, I'm Anikin, and my favorite chemist probably has to be Andy Park. Yeah, and my favorite chemist is probably Mr. Park. I'm Amy Rusha, and my favorite chemist is also Andy Park. <laughs> All right. Do any players have any questions before we begin? Um, so after you recognize the other seven students, it would cost us. Right? That is correct. Okay. Any other questions? All right. We do wish both teams the very best of luck here in match number one, round seven. Let us begin. Here is to us a question number one in literature. The narrator compares this structure to the after dream of the reveler upon opium, upon contemplating it for the first time on a dull, dark, and soundless day. An inhabitant of this building finds the odor of all flowers oppressive due to a morbid acuteness of his senses. This building's vacant eye-like windows are covered in fungus and are split by zigzagging fissures that extend into a southern tarn below. Even though her cheeks are rosy with blood, a woman prone to cataleptic trances is buried in this building. The House of Usher. It is the House yes. of Usher. Yes. Ben yes. Bonus to Buffalo Grove of Social Studies. Atrahasis is the equivalent of this biblical character in a Babylonian narrative from the 17th century BCE for 10 points each, part one. Name this biblical character whose story was likely heavily inspired from the epic of Gilgamesh's Utnapishtim or from Hindu myths by Vasvata Mani. Noah. That is correct. Part two. The Ojibwe celebrated Wayna Buju, who survived the flood on a wooden raft and rebuilt dry land on the back of one of these animals. The Haudenosaunee also believed the earth was an island on the back of one of these animals. Turtle. That is correct. Excellent. Part three. A lucky man named Trevelyan was the only survivor of the flood that engulfed lioness the town in Cornwall where this hero was born. This hero also escaped since, at the time, he was visiting his evil uncle, King Mark. Morgan. That is incorrect. Three seconds. This is Sir Tristan. 20 points. That's a question number two. History. The militarization of William Rathburn's police department during one of these events led, three years later, to the mass incarcerations of homeless people in Operation Hammer. Peter Uberoth and Tom Bradley successfully organized one of these events without public funding. It took nine years before Eric Rudolph was captured after security guard Richard Buell was initially arrested for planting. Like the Olympics? The Olympics is correct for 10 points. A bonus to Buffalo Grove in fine arts. This composer instructed the performers of his string octet to play together in the style of a symphony rather than as two quartets, for ten points each, part one. Name this composer of the oratorio of St. Paul. 
This man's 1845 violin concerto in E minor unusually introduces the solo violin within the first few seconds. Mendelssohn. That is correct. Part two, Mendelssohn's incidental music for A Midsummer Night's Dream includes a march that is often used as a recessional at these events. Richard Wagner's Roman Grid, the source of a chorus, often plays at these events as one party enters. Wedding. That's right. Part three, an 1829 trip to the island of Staffa inspired Mendelssohn to write not only the Scottish symphony, but also this concert overture, an early tone poem that begins with a lyrical viola cello bassoon theme. The Hebrides Overture. That is all three parts, 30 points. Concept question number three in math. All but the last number in a Cunningham chain are this mathematician's type of prime number and all but the first in the chain are so-called safe primes. This mathematician proved that all odd primes less than 100 satisfied Fermat's last theorem, which was only Spoiler. incorrect, which was only published in a footnote by Legendre. This student of Lagrange is the namesake of a prime p if 2p plus 1 is also prime. Carl Friedrich Gauss praised, but mostly ignored, for 10 points, what 19th century French mathematician who revolutionized elasticity theory and number theory before dying of breast cancer? This is Sophie Germain. Oh, Germain Lyons, right. I know it's not this. That's like another question. So that's a question number four, fine arts. The last movement of Rautavara's Cantus Arcticus features tape recordings of these animals. A bird. A prompt. A nightingale? Incorrect. Features tape recordings of these animals. A silver variety of this animal titled the best known madrigal of Orlando Gibbons. A sinuous English horn melody represents one of these animals floating around the underworld in an 1895 tone poem. One of these animals laments that it is now black and well roasted as it rotates on a spit in Orff's Carmina Burana. The second movement of the Lemminkainen Suite by Jean Sibelius is titled for one of these animals swimming around Kulonella. Marius Petipa and Lev Ivanov choreographed von Rothbart transforming a heroine into, for 10 points, what elegant bird in a Tchaikovsky ballad? A swan. A swan. <coughs> Your bonus, Peyton Math. In a math problem attributed to Alcuin of York, a merchant wants to bring bananas to a market 1,000 miles away. Unfortunately, his camel can only carry 1,000 bananas at a time, and it eats a banana every mile it walks, for 10 points each, part one. The best strategy is to drop bananas at select spots along the path, specifically at intervals representing the odd terms of this series. This series goes one plus one half plus one third plus one-fourth, plus one-fifth, and so on. Harmonic. It is the harmonic. Part two. A variation of the problem using cars and gasoline replaces the harmonic series with an integral because while bananas are discrete, fuel is this kind of variable that can be measured to arbitrarily high precision. It is continuous. Part three. The maximum distance that a car can travel depends on the integral of one over this function of distance minus fuel. This function's graph is a set of one unit step intervals that are open on the left side and closed on the right. Step. Incorrect, three seconds. Step. Ceiling. The ceiling function yeah, is correct. Oh. 20 points to Peyton, 10 <coughs> over by Pablo <coughs> Grove. Of question number five is social studies. The official name of the 1936 Robinson Patman Act shows that it regulates this quantity. Recent enforcement of the act has targeted soft drink makers and textbook publishers. This quantity is split in a two part tariff, as in replacement razor cartridges. This quantity is also controversially distorted when razors are marketed differently to the price. Price is correct. Ten points. Bonus to Peyton is science. On its journey to make fusion power a reality by 2035, the ITER project will begin generating this state of matter next year. For 10 points each, part one. 
name this fourth state of matter, an ionized gas found in stars and neon signs. Plasma is correct. Part two, because ether plasma will generate heat comparable to the surface of the sun. Specially designed examples of these measuring devices will be used. These electrodes, which measure a plasma's density and temperature, are named for the American physicist who coined the term plasma. Incorrect. This is a Langmuir probe. Part three. Ether's fusion fuel will be a plasma of these two low-mass isotopes, which produce the highest energy gain at the lowest minimum temperature. One of these isotopes is routinely extracted from seawater. The other is bred by neutrons striking a lithium blanket within the reactor. Name both isotopes. Lithium-7 and deuterium? Incorrect. Lithium-7 and carbon-14? This is deuterium and tritium. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that was 10 points for me. Yeah. So question number six is science. When electrons behave like simple harmonic oscillators, this vector quantity can change their period in the Shubnikov de Haas effect. This quantity initiates the torque that causes Larmor precession. The contribution of the conductor element, IDL, to this quantity at radius r is given by the Biot-Savart law. This entity splits spectrum. The magnetic field. The magnetic yeah, nice. field is correct for 10 points. Bonus to Buffalo Grove literature. In his essay, Preface to Blackness, Henry Louis Gates points out how enslaved authors were forced to include short apologetic introductory chapters to their works to convince white authors that they were people. For 10 points each, part one. A textbook example cited by Gates is the apologetic intro to Poems on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral by this woman, the first black poet published in the US. Wheatley. Correct. Part two. This author's interesting narrative has a foreword by Gates before launching into an apology. This slave turned British abolitionist was born in modern day Benin and renamed Gustavus Vasa by his captor. Ben? Incorrect. Uh, Equiano. Equiano is correct. Part three. Gates also criticized the historical accuracy of this saga of an American family by Alex Haley, which takes rather many liberties in its telling of the life story of Punta Quinta. Roots. Roots is correct. 20 points, Buffalo Grove, 10 stolen by Pete. Classic question number seven history. Amakuni Yasutsuna invented a thin ridge between two types of this material, or the hamon, in his little crow circle. In the Book of Five Rings, Miyamoto Musashi added. Sword fighting? Incorrect. Miyamoto Musashi advocates mitojutsu, the simultaneous use of two objects made from this material. This material typically appears soft in products made by the Gizen school, such as Hitachi. The model boots form of this material spread around Asia after it was invented near the Umayyad capital. A high-grade bloom of this material made by a katara was turned into a tamahagane, a Japanese analog of the Toledo and Damascus forms of this material. Steel. This is steel. Okay, points. This is so Your bonus. Buffalo Grove is math for 10 points each. Give the following about the Catalan numbers. Part one, the Catalan numbers were first described in Western mathematics by Euler, who was trying to count the number of ways that a polygon could be divided into even shapes. For example, in a pentagon, there are five ways to draw diagonals to divide the interior into three of these shapes, so five is a Catalan number. Triangle. That is yeah, okay, good. Part two. The nth Catalan number gives the quantity of these structures that exist with exactly n plus 1 leaves. In these structures, each parent node is associated with, at most, two children nodes. <coughs> tree. Par. Binary tree. Binary tree. Yeah, tree. Part 3. Temptingly, the first five Catalan numbers correspond to the number of legal orientations of this puzzle when you have zero through four disks, but the pattern stops there. 
In this puzzle, a pyramid of disks begins on one rod and must be moved to another rod, one disk at a time, without stacking a disk on top of a smaller disk. Powers of Hanoi. The powers of Hanoi is correct. All three parts. Time out 30. Time out 30 seconds. <laughs> Sorry about the small one. That was such a cool question. <laughs> We are ready to continue. I don't believe there's been any substitutions. All right. Next toss up will be number eight. It is math. It took Byte and Thompson over 250 pages to prove that a finite group whose order has this property must be solvable. A Fourier transform on this type of function will be purely imaginary and vice versa. An Euler circuit cannot have any nodes with this property, but an Euler path is allowed to have two. Odd, Odd is correct. Then a bonus to Peyton is literature. Pages from one of these books are interspersed with the main narrative of Jorge Amado's book, Dona Flor and Her Two Husbands, for 10 points each, part one. Name this type of book. The only thing to survive the fire at the end of Laura Esquivel's Like Water for Chocolate is one of these books written by Tita. That's correct. Part two. In his novel, Death in the Andes, this Peruvian novelist provided a recipe for getting over a failed love affair that involves tamales, ceviche, and a nice cold beer. Incorrect. What is this? This is Mario Vargas Llosa. Part three. Regrettably, Mario Vargas Llosa's Feast of the Goat lacks good goat recipe. Instead, it focuses on politics in this Latin American country, also the setting of In the Time of the Butterflies and the Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde. Dominican Republic is correct, 20 points to page. That's question number nine in literature. A story told by this character begins with an epigraph from Stavius and details the capture of Hippolyta and her sister. This character gives uh, Boethian philosophy as he recounts a king's first mover speech. Shortly after a statue of Diana weeps blood and the kings of India and Thrace fight in a gigantic tournament. Shakespeare's Two Noble Kinsmen is based on a story told by this character, which ends with King the Knight. The Knight from the Canterbury yes. Tales is correct. Oh, <laughs> Bonus to Buffalo Grove in science. In 2011, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation launched a challenge to reinvent the toilet and repurpose fecal waste in developing nations for 10 points each, part one. The program sought to prevent nearly 600 million children from dying each year from bacteria that cause what symptom, which leads to dehydration in diseases like dysentery and cholera. Diarrhea. Correct. Part two. The winning design from Caltech used solar energy to convert water and waste into hydrogen stored in these devices. These devices generate electricity by reacting hydrogen and oxygen together. Fuel cells. Correct. Part three, another design from the University of Toronto relied on this material to filter particulates out of urine. Nearly all water treatment facilities today combine this material with charcoal in rapid or slow filters. Defer. Sand. Incorrect. Sand. Sand. I need one answer. Sand. Sand is correct. So that is 20 points to Buffalo Grove, 10 stolen by Peyton. Question number 10 will be miscellaneous. This river's south bank includes Catch Memorial Shell and nearby, a giant statue of Arthur Fiedler's head. A bridge over this river is demarcated every five feet, seven inches. That name is Charles. The Charles River of Boston is correct. 
Bonus question, Peyton, <coughs> social studies. TikTok has recently made the world aware of Zawuli, an extremely difficult dance from this country in which men celebrate feminine beauty by wearing elaborate masks and costumes, keeping their upper bodies still and rapidly moving their legs to the rhythm. For 10 points each, part one. Name this West African country where Guru animists perform Zawuli. Akan Catholics worship at this country's Basilica of Our Lady of Peace, which is technically the largest church in the world by total area. Incorrect. Ivory Coast. The Ivory Coast is correct. Part two. Zawuli originates from a region just north of this capital city of Cote d'Ivoire, where the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace is located. Answer? Correct. Yamasukro. Yamasukro is correct. Part three. Besides Zawuli dancing, Guru festivities often include awale, a variation of this popular game in which seeds are sown in 12 pits and then captured in alternating turns. Mankala is correct. 10 points for Peyton, 20 stolen by Buffalo Group. Part of question number 11, science. A cyclic dimer of this compound and a single phosphate is the main second messenger used by bacteria. Four molecules of this compound line up in high stacked planes in a secondary structure called a quadruplex. Cisplatin kills cells by reacting with nitrogen 7 of this molecule. Exchange factors named for this compound act as kinases during signal transduction. Either this molecule or hypoxanthine forms a wobble pair with uracil. <coughs> Most of the Correct. Most molecular switches are built from proteins named for this nucleotide. This purine forms guanine. It is guanine for them. Keyword there was wobble pair. Wobble pair. Your bonus is history. David Francis Barry's iconic 1885 photo of this leader shows him wearing a crucifix for 10 points each, part one. Name this decidedly non-Christian leader of the Lakota Sioux. This man directed Crazy Horse's victory at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Sitting Bull. Sitting Bull is correct. Part two, many historians trace Sitting Bull's crucifix to a meeting with these Jesuit priests who convinced the Sioux to sign this 1868 treaty, which temporarily brought peace between Black Hill settlers and the Sioux. Laramie. From Fort Laramie. Correct. Right. Part three. Sitting Bull was eventually murdered at Standing Rock for his support of this religious movement spread by Roboka. Ghost Dance Final. <coughs> that is correct. It is the Ghost Dance. Uh, I'm supposed to finish the Wounded Knee Massacre aimed to prevent this movement from getting too popular. So that's all three parts. Three points. Thus, question number 12 is social studies. Rituals in this faith may be private to only the inner rooms in the house, or can be Ivan Balo and allowed to occur on a patio. During the 53-week initiation to this religion, new members cannot be photographed, can dress only in white, and must eat all of their meals with a spoon. In this religion's Bembe ritual, priests become poor. Santeria. Santeria is correct. Your bonus, Peyton Fine Arts. In 2015, this artist denounced the Lego company for refusing to sell bricks to him, believing the company was caving to the Chinese government's desire for a new amusement park in Shanghai. For 10 points each, part one. Name this Chinese Lego aficionado, whose other installations include thousands of porcelain sunflower seeds at London's Cape Museum. Good. Part two, eventually I received two million Legos for an installation celebrating this American pop artist it included a Lego version of a Marilyn Monroe silk spray hat. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Part three, in 2023, I used 650,000 Legos to recreate an iconic painting of these objects. An aging artist who was half blind with cataracts painted a series of these organic objects at Giverny between 1890 and 1920. <coughs> 1920. Um, oh, that's all three parts of three. That brings us to the half, and what is our halftime score? Hmm. 160 to 2 Fantastic. All right, we can take
Take up to five minutes for him. All right. Okay. All right. I think we have had some substitutions. Yes. For me.
Okay. Let us continue then. Second half here is Thompson question number 13, and it is math. Invariant examples of this shape are the sites of the motion of certain dynamical systems according to the Kolmogorov Arnold Moser theorem. This simplest member of a class of knots that can be embedded on this surface is the trefoil knot. If this shape has an aspect ratio of 1 caused by being tangent to its axis, it's, it's classified as formed. A cylinder that has been stretched and has its bases glued together could form a fine bottle, but. The Mobius? Incorrect. But more familiarly, will form this shape. Popularly, topologists see no difference between a coffee cup and, for 10 points, but three dimensional shape that is formed by revolving a circle around an axis and that usually resembles a donut. Taurus. A Taurus is correct. 10. Bonus, Peyton, social studies. In a 2013 study, 83% of radiologists staring at a lung CT completely missed an image of one of these animals photoshopped into the scan. For 10 points each, part one. Name these animals. In an earlier study of attention, students asked to count passes of a basketball completely missed someone dressed as one of these animals. That's right. Part two, adding insult to injury, a 2015 study found that these animals were just as good as professional radiologists at diagnosing breast cancer. D.F. Skinner developed operant conditioning with these animals and also trained them to, also tried to train them to guide bombs during World War II. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. Part three, increasingly neural nets are replacing incompetent radiologists who are prone to cognitive biases like anchoring and framing. Yet those two ideas were coined in the 1960s and 70s by these two psychologists who also developed prospect theory, name both. Kahneman and Tversky. Kahneman and yeah. Tversky are yeah. oh, 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 yeah. That is 20 points, Peyton, 10 stolen, 5 Buffalo Joe. Thomas of 14, science. A kerosene rich mixture called refined petroleum 1 is mainly used to power these devices. Otherwise, they rely on hypergolic reactions between dinitrogen tetroxide and methylated hydrogen. Pierre Bernier names a key component of these devices' reaction control systems because they act like calipers for controlling attitude. These devices' ideal delta V equals the logarithm of the ratio of two masses times specific impulse times rho g. These devices kick out a payload stage right at the apogee to achieve geostation A rocket is correct. Oh, yeah. Your bonus, Peyton, miscellaneous. A theorem named for calculating the result when these expressions are exponentiated was proven by Isaac Newton for any rational exponent for 10 points each. Part 1. Name these mathematical expressions that equal the sum of two algebraic terms. Incorrect. Polynomials? A binomial. Part 2. This fictional character brags that he is teeming with a lot of news about the binomial theorem. This character, who is full of many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse, is also open about his ability to whistle all the airs from that infernal nonsense pinafore. Yeah, the modern Andrew General. Modern Andrew General, <coughs> correct. Part 3. An 1893 short story introduces this character as a genius who wrote a treatise on the binomial theorem at the age of 21. This character is killed in a tumble over an alpine waterfall and, unlike his rival, does not ever come back to life. Moriarty is correct. 20 points to Peyton. Starts with question number 15 in literature. This novel's protagonist laughs hysterically as he's being beaten to death, remembering how he threw pomegranates at a childhood friend in a cemetery on a hill. This novel opens when an old friend calls the narrator to tell him there is a way to be good again. After a failed suicide attempt, a child in this novel goes silent for the six months between August 2001 and March 2002. This novel's protagonist, a novelist, emigrates with his father, Baba, to California in 1981. In this novel, a cleft lip... Yeah, tight runner. Tight runner. Yeah. Yes. Your bonus, Buffalo Grove, Matt. A weaker version of this property, called alternativity, applies to forms like A times A times B, as opposed to forms with three distinct terms, for 10 points each, part one. Name this basic algebraic property. 
Essentially, this property notes that placing parentheses around any pair of terms in an expression like 3 plus 4 plus 5 will not change the result. Associative. That's correct. Yeah. Part two, associativity, identity, and inverse are the three axioms that define this algebraic structure. This object is a set with a binary operation acting on its elements as contrasted with a ring which has two operations and a few further conditions. Group is right. Part three, the most common example of an algebra that is alternative but not associative is this number system invented by John Graves on inspiration from William Rowan Hamilton. The Fano plane can be used to visualize operations on these numbers you can leave out the identity element, then apply each other element of this system to each point of the final plane. Base seven. Incorrect. These are octonians. Oh, so time out uh, 30. Time out 30, that was 20 points of bubble of growth. Uh, hey, don't worry about the score. Yeah. Next question. Thirty seconds. All right. No substitutions. Here is Dust question number sixteen. It is finance. Loud jokes from the drummer Sid Catlett almost ruined the first recording of this musician singing "Everything a Good Man Needs." This jazz singer's last recording was posthumously retitled "Last Recording." Her earlier albums include the Torch Song Collection, Music for Torching, and one in which she is in satin. This artist, who gave Lester Young his nickname Prez, wrote God Bless the Child, and recorded an Abel Muirpole song that uses images of blood on the leaves and blood at the root. Billy Holiday. Billy yes. Holiday. Yes. Sure. Your bonus, Buffalo Grove, history. Of the roughly 20,000 prisoners held at this facility by the Santabal forces, all but about a dozen were killed for 10 points each, part one. Name this genocidal prison where thousands of political dissidents and supporters of La Nau were killed. Today, this site is a museum and a memorial. S21. That's right. Part two, this communist regime in Cambodia. Arut final. Yes, and killed more than a million of its own people between 1975 and 1979. Journalist Lee Cron escaped from this regime and coined the term killing fields for its sites of mass executions at Rosa Bonnet Rouge. Part three, the S-21 Torture and Interrogation Center had previously been this type of building. During the Dirty War, Argentina operated a detention center in ESMA, which had also been one of these facilities. A high school. High school is correct. All three parts, 30 points above those questions. Toss-up number seven, is history. In what is now this state, Lieutenant Henry L. Ford led the victorious side at battle near the city of Olympali. Paul Revere's grandson finally quelled an uprising in this state that started when stuttering Zeke Merritt and 32 other rebels captured 170 forces from a foreign government. William I led a rebellion in a region called Alta, this state. California? Alta, California. Oh. Your bonus, Peyton, science. Jack is just another kinase that phosphorylates this amino acid's OH group for 10 points each, part one. Name this amino acid that is phosphorylated at the start of many eukaryotic signal transduction cascades. It names the major family of cell surface receptor kinases, including those which detect insulin and growth factors. Incorrect. Tyrosine. Tyrosine is correct. Part two, jacks are also activated by the soluble proteins that are released by immune cells to counter infection, but can also dangerously flare up any storm of autoimmunity. Interferons are one type of them. Antibody. Incorrect. Um, Complement. These are cytokines. Cytokines. Part three, this human protein stimulates a jack receptor to produce ILGF. A deficiency of this hormone causes pituitary dwarfism, and because it acts like an anabolic steroid, its use has been banned by many sports organizations. Incorrect. HGH. 
HGH human growth hormone is correct. That was 20 points stolen by Buffalo Bill. Thus, at number 18 is social studies. A person who held this title was tricked into climbing the roof of a burning barn by his evil stepmother and survived by parachuting down with his hat. Another holder of this title fought a 10 year long battle against a monster with a metal forehead, horns, and a bear's, a bear's hindquarters. The wife of one of these people invented sericulture after a cocoon fell into her tea. The fourth legendary holder of this title. Uh, that's all I need. Yeah. Of China specifically, but I just need emperor for 10 points. Your bonus patent is literature. This author's will funded the development of a new 48 letter alphabet that would have would have exactly one letter for each phoneme, a step toward the goal of making English pronunciation completely unambiguous for 10 points each, part one. Name this author who legendarily pointed out that standard English orthography could allow the word fish to be spelled G-H-O-T-I. A character in one of this man's plays points out English is not even accessible to English minds. Right. Part two, Shaw argued that the peculiarities of English phonetics and dialect held back the lower class in this play, which was adapted into the musical My Fair Lady. Yeah. Right? Part three, Shaw's alphabet was used in 2013 to print this book by a different author. Characters in this book argue over whether I say what I mean is equivalent to I mean what I say, and whether that implies that I see what I eat is equivalent to I eat what I see. That's all three parts, three points. I'm out again, 16. I'm out 16. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Question number 19, it is violence. Critics today generally agree that Rosario Weiss, this artist's goddaughter, actually made a portrait of a long attributed to this artist during his exile in Bordeaux. Théophile Gautier derided this artist's deliberately ugly caricature of his royal patrons as a portrait of a grocer's family. The Prado displays two portraits by this artist side by side that are identical, except that in one, the last one's incorrect. Except that in one, the woman lying on the bed is wearing clothes. This artist parodied Velasquez in his painting of the royal family of Charles IV. This artist painted both a white clad and black clad portrait of the Duchess of Alba, who was also probably the model for his beauty maha. That is Goya. Ten points. Bonus to Buffalo Grove is science. In a simple method of activity based proteomics, an electrophilic warhead that reacts with protein active sites is conjugated to a molecule that demonstrates this process. For 10 points each, part one. Name this process which chemicals emit low energy photons after they're excited by high energy photons. A green protein from a jellyfish is named for this process. Fluorescence. That's correct. Part two, another option for protein labeling is to connect the warhead with a molecule containing this functional group, which reacts with azide in a quick reaction. These the simplest molecule to have this functional group has the formula C2H2. Alkali. It is. Part three, for non-covalent protein labeling, chemists instead use this B vitamin, which forms a ludicrously strong bond with disruptive iodine. D3. Incorrect. B. <coughs> D7. <coughs> that is 20 points of the road. <laughs> Class of 20, math. The superposition principle is used to find the kth of these values, usually broken into capital A and E sub K, for the 1D wave equation. At least two of these values must be computed to solve, to completely solve a boundary value problem. If, great points. 
incorrect. In the solution to dx dt equals y, this value equals the initial value x naught. These values are the only difference between the various solutions plotted on a slope field. Although these values cancel out when calculating definite integrals, they must be included in general solutions of antiderivatives because their derivatives are zero. For 10 points, name these values that do not change, unlike variables. 10 points. Your bonus patent, fine arts, critics debate whether the fourth person of this surname should be an individual named Burhan, Saif Ali, or Muhammad Yusuf. For 10 points each, part one. For decades, the most popular actors in Bollywood have been three men named Shah Rukh, Amir, and Salman, all of whom share one surname. That's right. Part two, another important con of Bollywood was Nasir Hussain, Amir's uncle, who developed this popular style of Indian film. The Western-inspired Cholet is the classic example of this genre, which is named because it merges multiple genres into one. This is a masala film. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Part three. The term masala western is a direct reference to this genre, pioneered by films like Sergio Leone's The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and other works by Italian directors. Spaghetti western. a spaghetti western. Twenty points to take. Would they accept cost of integration on the cost of testing? Yes. Cross of question number 21, history. Description acceptable. A speech given five years before this goal was achieved noted that it was better to do it from above than to wait. Abolition of service in America. What I need, 10 more. Okay, your bonus, Peyton literature. The largest of these buildings in Manhattan today is named for George Gershwin for 10 points each, part one. Authors like Eugene O'Neill are appropriately the namesakes of what buildings, of which 41 have a certain official status in Manhattan? Theater. 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 Yes, specifically Broadway theater and the theater dwelling. Part two, the Broadway theater named for this American playwright put on some of his plays like Biloxi Blues and Brighton Beach Memoirs. This comic author also wrote The Odd Couple. Incorrect. Neil Simon. That is Neil Simon. Part three. The first woman to win an EGOT, Helen Hayes, is the namesake of the smallest Broadway theater. This Eugene O'Neill play, a prequel to the unfinished More Stately Mansions, premiered in that theater in 1958. Hayes originated the role of Nora Melody, the wife of tavern owner Cornelius Melody. Yeah, I was going to say it was Paul Williams. It's a touch of a poet. Ten points for each team. Can we do a score check real quick? Certainly. 320, 380, 380. I have 310, 180. I have 320, 380. Sorry, 310, 380. Go ahead. We have 320, 390 on our score sheet. Oh, I missed that. What's the actual score? I believe it's 320. What did we have after 14? Or, yeah, we won. Okay, after 14, I have Peyton, 220, Buffalo Grove, 250. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, after 18, do you have 260 to 340? I have 270, 340. Oh, okay, I see what I missed there. And then, and then for Buffalo Grove, you have 380? Yeah. Yeah, we're at 320, 380. Okay. 320, 380. Uh, Mike, are there any um, rules about when you can call for a uh, score check? Uh, Does it require a printout or anything? No. Okay. You can't talk with the steward. Correct. No, no, no. All right. Here is task question number 22 Social studies. Two answers required. These two countries dispute a sculpture of gigantic heads titled We Are Our Mountains near their border. One of these two countries used caviar diplomacy to win hosting rights to the COP29 climate conference in 2024 after the other country withdrew its rival bid. 
These two neighbors are, respectively, the smallest Shiite Muslim country and the home of the world's oldest cathedral. The Zangazur Corridor would link to Armenian on your left. Ten points. Your bonus statement for this math. In a 1970 column in Scientific American, this man offered $50 to the first person who could find a spaceship that would grow infinitely large in his cellular automaton for 10 points each, part one. Famous English mathematician who developed the so-called game of life. He died of COVID-19 in 2020. Yes. Part two, the $50 prize was won the same year by a pattern that repeats infinitely by undergoing this type of transformation every four generations. A 2D figure undergoes this transformation when it is reflected across an axis, then translated parallel to it. Uh, over here. A reflection across y equals x. I just have a lot of what? That's what it is. That's the question is. Like, is it good? Yeah. We'll yeah. We'll cut that out. That's okay. We'll finish the bonus and then resolve it. Uh, part three. Although Conway's game of life can form tessellations, its standard rule set must be manipulated if we want to generate one of these recursively self-similar patterns, such as the Mandelbrot set or Sierpinski prime. Crackle. Crackle is correct. Slide reflection is over. We learned this in our you class. Learned this in our it, class. Called it, it was called Glyde Reflection. I, was, I know. Look up something that shows me Glyde Reflection. I, 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 what was the term? Glyde Reflection. Was it louder to the point distance? In geometry, Glyde Reflection yeah. or Transflection? Okay. So, so you've been seeing on the wiki, yeah, there, there's an article, and the title of the article is Glyde Reflection. And it says, uh, a glide reflection is a geometric transformation that consists of a reflection across a central plane and a translation in a direction parallel to that central plane. Yeah. Um, see the across the axis? Yep. Yeah. A reflection across and the, the translation in terms of parallel to it. So that I think that exactly matches the definition of the question. That's exactly what is in the question. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. So that is all three points to the Thank you. Time out. Time out. 30 or 60 points. 30 is fine. Okay. Any one point? Uh, yes. Off by 20, right? Yep. Yep. Let's just uh, take a pause and breathe. So, this is one of our points. Hey. You understand? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And then substitutions. So my next toss up is number 23. And it is signs. The e to the minus zr over a naught power term in these expressions is derived from a Laguerre polynomial that is approximated by a Gaussian to make the math easier when performing variational calculations. These expressions are eigenfunctions of a Hamiltonian whose potential energy is derived from Coulomb's law. The squared magnitude of these complex value functions and yes. incorrect. The squared magnitude of these complex value functions at a given position equals the probability of finding an electron there. These functions are parameterized by integers labeled n, l, and m sub l, the three quantum numbers, for 10 points, name these solutions to the Schrodinger equation that are labeled with letters like f, d, s, and all else. Those are orbitals for that Your bonus Buffalo Grove social studies, evangelical Christians often cite a passage from the book of John in which this man asks Jesus how a man can be born when he is old. For 10 points each, part one. Name this member of the Sanhedrin, a Pharisee who secretly visits Jesus at night to learn his teachings. Genteel. Incorrect. Nicodemus. That is Nicodemus. Part two. In the New International Version, Jesus replies to Nicodemus that no one can see this place unless they are born again. 
Leo Tolstoy's major work of Christian philosophy is partly titled for this place. The exact reword term is required. Kingdom of God. Kingdom of yes. God is correct. Part three. Jesus tells Nicodemus, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit, thus inspiring this water-based Christian sacrament. Baptism. Correct. Yes. 20 points, Buffalo Grove, and 10 is double in my page. <coughs> Final toss-up, number 24, is in literature. A novel that opens at a Denny's in this city recounts the life of a 19-year-old named Mari from 11.56 p.m. to 6.52 a.m. In a novel, a character gets paid to count the number of bald men in this city when he's not spending his free time sitting at the bottom of a well. A gigantic worm tries to destroy this city, but is beaten back by Super Frog in a story from After the Quake. This city's sewers are called a hard-boiled wonderland. Tokyo? Tokyo. Yes! Okay. Your bonus Buffalo Grove is history. In 1858, Tiffany and Company took out a full front page ad in the New York Times trying to sell the leftover cable from one of these devices for 80 cents a foot for 10 points each, part one. Name this physical communication technology that connected the US and UK across the Atlantic three decades after it was first invented by Samuel Morse. Telegraph. Right. Yes. Part two. The leftover tele transatlantic cable was brought back to New York by an American frigate with this name. Jesse Elliott held back another ship of this name in the early stages of the Battle of Lake Erie until Oliver Hazard Perry's Lawrence took heavy fire and Perry rode over to take command. The Americans. Incorrect. It's the USS Niagara. Part three, the Niagara rendezvoused in Ireland with this British counterpart to lay the transatlantic cable. 50 years earlier, another British ship of this name attacked the USS Chesapeake in an affair that helped lead to the War of 1812. The leopard. leopard is correct. 20 points to Buffalo Grove, our final score. 44370. 40? Yes. Excellent game, both teams. This water is this water for us? Is this like for That was a really good game. That was I can give you myth, I can give you religion, and I can give you certain First of all, yeah, pay, just pace. Just pace. Yeah. We, we like those 16 pair games. I love the first one. You can race in the tower. I Maybe for what you study of the NAQT type of answer line, yes. I, I can tell you, for what I because I don't do almost any, I read down any, almost any count sets, well, I would have gotten much better on this than any NAQT state sets. We just need to the back four. Oh, yeah, we have to. Hello, Jay, how are you? Hi, thank you. Nice to be here. I didn't get to see you guys. Congratulations on being here today. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you. 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 That was 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 that was
No, absolutely. And do you want to do the lockout? Whatever makes more sense. I don't know where you're going to do it. After these eight years, it's going to be a short handy thing. For Justin's role, there's a seven year old. There's one year of all. 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 That place starts to be Northwest High School in suburban Des Moines, but I'm a native of Decatur and previously taught at Greenville High School and coached Quiz Bowl there for several years. I'm also the founder and CEO of the Iowa Quiz Bowl League, and it's truly an honor for me to be let back in the state long enough to do this today. <laughs> um, just a quick little reminder to everybody to please make sure your phones are on silent and put away. Um, good sportsmanship uh, is required. Thank you very much. And players, make sure you speak up clearly when you are answering questions. So we'll introduce our staff here today that are helping the cause. Board scorer Caleb Levingood. Fly Bottomo, scorekeeper. And uh, just make sure that we get everybody introduced and we'll get the party started. And I'll start with Homewood Flossmore. We're Homewood Flossmore. I'm Jack. And my team is so interested to introduce themselves from the left right along with their favorite points. My being the point of no return. Uh, fan the band Kansas by chance, or no? no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Annalise. My favorite point would have to be um, six six. Um, I'm Luke, and my favorite point is uh, Grand Canyon. I'm Everett, and I think Luke has a good point. <laughs> <laughs> And over here, Buffalo Grove. Hi, Rohan, captain of the East Gospel team, coached by the Red Bottom Christmas Girls. And this is right behind me. Um, my teammates will introduce themselves from my left to my left with their favorite chemist. Don't say I haven't been warned, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, with their uh, favorite chemist, uh, past, present, and future. Uh, mine is uh, Wondrous. Uh, I'm Jack, and uh, my favorite chemist um, uh, would have to go with uh, Andy Mark. I'm Anthony. Yeah, Andy Park. I'm Daniel, and uh, probably Andy Park. Oh, go ahead. Uh, my, I'm Sasha, and probably Mr. Park. Do I get something thrown at me if I say Linus Pauling? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Slender. I know. I fired. Get out of here. Go back to Iowa. All right. <laughs> Players, just as a. Uh, little help on this when I do the top with hand gestures like this. Uh, if you do not connect on a bonus part when you have control, I will say the word wordy bound, and that's an indication that the other team has their three second time to start getting their answer together for that. Okay? Any other questions before we get the party started? Well, good luck to both teams. And off we go with toss-up number one in the category of miscellaneous. Michael Moorcock's essay criticizing the heavy-handedness of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings is titled for an epic version of this non-Tolkien character. This character's ability to effortlessly act is praised by Benjamin Hoff, who explained Taoism from his perspective. And Jack. Ten points. Yes. Ten points. Home with Floss for your bonus question is in history. In 2023, the North Hertfordshire Museum announced it would accept Cassius Dio's account that this Roman emperor said, Call me not Lord, for I am lady, and began using she, her pronouns in its display. For 10 points each, name this possibly transgender emperor whose most common name derived from worshiping a Syrian solar deity. Among this emperor's most shocking acts was marrying a vessel virgin twice. Oh, wait, you like? Rebound. Sol Invictus? Uh, no, this is Elagabalus is one of them here. 
And for part two, Al outlandish tales of Elagapolis's reign could be found in a history of this name, whose author, data production, and factual basis are in dispute. More reasonably, this is the title given to Octavian in 27 BC, uh, well after he called himself Caesar. Invictus. No, sorry? Augustus. Augustus, Augustus is Augustus. correct. Uh, whether due to religious heresy or simply failing to pay the Praetorian Guard, Elagabalus was assassinated and subjected to this practice of being expunged from all official records, coins, and public artwork. Give a two-word Latin phrase. Answer, please. Memoria. Rebound? Excelsis Deo. Uh, no, this is Damnatio Memoriae. Yes. Yeah. My Latin is awful. All right. Toss up number two is in literature. A character in this novel bursts out, In vain I have struggled, my feelings will not be repressed, before writing a long letter. A character in this novel fired Mrs. Young for nearly letting his 15 year old sister elope with his father's scoundrel of a godson. In this novel, the bitter question of whether your abhorrence of me should make my assertions valueless is wondered in a letter that complains about the Herford Church family's total want of propriety at a ball in Netherfield. Wrong. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, Buffalo Grove bonus, social studies. What do you serve to Zeus at a dinner party? There are only wrong answers. For 10 points each, this man went with option number one, human flesh. For serving his son Pelops to the gods, this man was punished in the afterlife with incurable hunger and thirst, Tentative. food, and always and drink, always just out of grass. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Option two is this food stuff which rejuvenates the ichor that flows through the Olympian's veins. This substance is only to be touched by mortals, and in some stories, Tamalus was punished for stealing it from the gods. Ambrosia. Yeah. Nice. And the third bad option is a goose, because after it flies into Zeus's hands, he will angrily respond by flooding the entire world. Uh, so goes the story of this poor but hospitable Phrygian couple who will be turned into trees. Name of both people. Faustus and Philemon. You got it. All yes. right. Okay. Players toss up three is in science. Heads up. A multiple word answer is required for this question. The rum model may explain a negative form of this process in zirconium tungstate. A tension screw compensated for this process, which caused catastrophic failure in John Tyndall's bar breaker demonstration. Bimetallic strips bend due to differing rates of this process, whose linear coefficient can be measured by applying steam to a metal rod inside a Pullinger apparatus. Water notably displays the opposite of this process from zero to four degrees Celsius. Bridges and concrete sidewalks contain movement joints to accommodate this process, which is why bottles of liquid are not filled to the brim. For 10 points, name this process in which a material increases in volume in response to an increase. Well, thermal expansion. Thermal expansion for 10. Uh, bonus to Buffalo Grove in a collection is in literature. In a collection of short stories by this author set in the city of Kidder, a rich boy sets off a bomb in his chemistry class to protest the caste system. For 10 points each, name this contemporary Indian author of Between the Assassinations. This author won a Booker Prize for his story of a rickshaw puller who winds up owning his own taxi business, The White Tiger. Oh, Adiga. Yes. Marlon James won his own booker for a book set in this country framed around seven successful killings and a failed assassination of a popular singer. This country is also the first name of an Antiguan-born author Annie, of Annie John. Uh, Jamaica. Yes. A political assassination kills the mother of the protagonist of the Testaments in this author's booker-winning sequel from 2019. This author won another booker in 2000 for The Blind Assassin. Edward. You have all three. This is toss-up for the category math. This statement is used to back calculate the structure of directed acyclic graphs in which node values are calculated as linear combinations of their parent nodes. The acceptance criterion for a step in the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm is a ratio of values iteratively obtained from this equation. This equation is used to infer the credible intervals when estimating unknown parameters. Non-frequentists favor the use of this equation which is used to consider whether a patient who tests positive for a rare disease, uh, Rohan. Basis theorem. It is. Yeah. 10 points. 
Fine arts, your bonus question to Buffalo Girl for 10 points each. Give the following about the Spanish composer Francisco Perega. Perega was a virtuoso on this instrument, specifically in its Spanish classical style, in which it is typically plucked with the fingers and nails rather than strummed with a pick. It's hard. Uh huh. The default ringtone for the Nokia phones comes from a grand piece of this type by Perega. Chopin's first published piano piece of this type is described as grand and brilliant. Polonaise. No, rebound. It is a waltz. And for part three, Terega was a friend and colleague of this Spanish composer of the Iberia Suite. Terega transcribed this man's piano piece, Leanda or Asturias, for guitar. Albanese. It is. So you're going to get 20 on the bonus for the first and last. Players, everybody's in for number five. It's history. Jonathan Dickinson and Aaron Burr Sr. founded one of these institutions to favor Presbyterian New Siders. While prosecuting the Salem witch trials, Increase Mather's day job was serving as a leader of one of these institutions. One of these institutions, Roma. A university? Yes, yeah, for 10. Uh, your bonus is in science. In October of 2023, the World Health Organization approved the second of these drugs, which is named for being adjuvanted by matrix M nanoparticles for 10 points each. Name this type of drug composed of a circumsporozyte protein subunit fused to a hep B antigen. Uh, GlaxoSmithKline developed the first version of this product, RTSS, in the early 2010s, but it wasn't endorsed by the WHO until 2021. These drugs. Performance and antibody. Rebound. Antiviral. Uh, no, this is a malaria <laughs> vaccine, oh, is what we have here. Uh, the newer R21 vaccine surpassed the WHO's criterion of 75% that this key measurement of a vaccine's performance. This property of a vaccine is the fraction of immunized people who do not contract a disease. Efficacy. Efficacy. It is. Vaccine. A vaccine is necessary because these mosquitoes are increasingly resistant to insecticide sprayed on these objects. These objects are hung over beds to protect sleepers from mosquitoes across sub-Saharan Africa. Nets. Right. Yeah. You're going to get 20 on the bonus for the second and third. Fossil number six is in social studies. On his deathbed, the founder of an organization named for this process sent the legendary, said the legendary single word telegram, others. The outward call and inward call draw people to undergo this process. Arminians strenuously disagreed with the popular 16th century opinion that this process never occurs to people who earn reprobation, but always occurs to people who earn unconditional election. Sola Fide argues that this process is justified by faith and not works. General William Booth founded the Evangelical Church and Luke. Salvation. You have 10 points. Yeah. All right, Vikings, bonus question coming your way in math. Rene Descartes claimed that the spoof number 198,585,576,189 was one of these numbers, uh, missing the fact that 22,021 isn't actually prime. For 10 points each, name these numbers that equal the sum of their proper divisors. It has been repeatedly conjectured, though never proven, that all of these numbers are even. Yes, despite the apparent impossibility of their collaboration, these two mathematicians co-named the theorem that every even perfect number is equal to a Mersenne prime multiplied by the greatest power of two that's less than the prime. Name both. Answer, please. Rebound. Euclid and Euler. Euclid and Euler, you got it. After 28, the next perfect number is the product of 16 and what number, according to the Euclid Euler theorem? This is the next Mersenne prime after 7. Rebound? 31. 31 is correct, I'm sorry. So we're going to get 10 here and 20 here on the rebound. Okay, class of seven, also in mathematics. Two of these transformations are the symmetry operators of the wallpaper group. Linear momentum is conserved because the laws of physics are invariant under this operation. 
this transformation has no fixed points because the matrices representing it are added to coordinate vectors, not multiplied. Periodic functions have symmetry when this operation is done by a multiple of the period. The letters H and K are commonly used to quantify this transformation when it's double and ever. Translation. Translation is correct for 10 points. Holman Flossmore, history bonus coming your way. In August of 2024, the Democratic National Convention will be returning to Chicago, which hopes it will go a little bit better than it did in 1968. <laughs> For 10 points each, Mayor Brandon Johnson has a very low bar to clear as the host. Uh, the mayor in 1968, Richard J., from this Chicago political dynasty, completely lost control of crowds who shouted, the whole world is watching. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, if you don't get that, we have some problems here. <laughs> Uh, this Marxist street gang dissolved in the 70s after leading protests during the 1968 DNC. This group, founded by Jose Chacha Jimenez, ad organized advocacy for Latino rights, especially Puerto Rican self-determination. Young Lawrence. Yes. This Democrat, a proponent of the Vietnam War, ultimately won the 1968 nomination before getting defeated by Nixon in a three-party race with George Wallace. Humphrey. You have all three for 30. <laughs> okay, everybody's in. This is number eight in its history. A blind leader of this empire fell in a coup to his son and was exiled to a mosquito-covered river island for six years. The Jinn of Mecca blessed the devout third leader of this empire, a uh, Son Inc. A clan member when he undertook the Hajj after seizing power at the Battle of Anfau. This empire fought the Tuareg for the Tagaza salt mines. Rohan. Sana. Yes. Nice. You had to let me stumble over all of them first, didn't you? No, I'm kidding. All right, uh, Buffalo Grove, your bonus question. It's in fine arts. This dance's namesake rhythm tapped, up, tapped out on clavays has beats on one, the and of two, the and of four, and then two and three in the next measure. For 10 points each, name this Afro-Cuban Afro dance of disputed etymology. Generally slower than the mambo, it was popularized alongside song by Ignacio Pinheiro. Cha-cha. I'm sorry, no, rebound. All right. Uh, it's the rumba. rumba. Uh, Pinheiro rumba served as the inspiration for and the original title of the Cuban Overture by this American composer. This band's collaborations with his lyricist brother Ira included the songs Embraceable You and Summertime. Uh -huh. And the chord progression of this Gershwin song referred to its namesake changes appears in dozens of bebop standards ranging from anthropology to salt peanuts. The lyrics to this song are mostly unrhymed with the notable exception of Round by Door and Anything More. Oh, uh, I got rhythm. Go. I got rhythm. Correct. I see that. There we go. I'm glad you didn't do I've Got Rhythm because I would have had to flag that one. So good job. So you're going to get 20 on the bonus. Gossip number nine, fine arts. Since 2007, two museums have rotated ownership of this painting after they collectively raised $68 million to prevent Alice Walton from buying it. The only woman depicted in this painting is a mother sitting in a chair in the left midground, shielding her eyes. Made to celebrate the American Centennial Exposition, this painting... The Gross Clinic. The Gross Clinic yes. is correct. Nice buzz. And here's your bonus question in science. A 1999 paper by Patrick Forter and Antonio Lascano coined the, term, coined the common name for this organism, which, if it existed, is estimated to have lived about 4 billion years ago. For 10 points each, provide either the full name or the common four-letter acronym for this unicellular organism. This is the root of the phylogenetic tree that divided into today's archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. Cell. Rebound. Universal last common ancestor. I'm going to take it. What was the answer? I have last universal yeah. common that's ancestor. Fine, that's fine. Okay. Part two, the idea of uh, LUCA was spawned by a work in the 1990s from Carl Woese and friends that all of life could be separated into three of these taxonomic groups which sit above the rank of kingdom in a Linnaean taxonomy. Uh -huh. Today, most evolutionary biologists agree that Luca probably lived in hydrothermal vents and required and respired hydrogen and carbon dioxide into this useful metabolic intermediate. <coughs> 
between glycolysis and the Krebs cycle, pyruvate is oxidized and decarboxylated into this thiester. This is just acetyl acetyl Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 10 over here for the first part and 20 over here for the other part. <coughs> this is toss-up number 10, the category science. A furnace coated in this material is used for atomic absorption and spectroscopy and the standard assay for detecting lead in tap water. This material is the heaviest component of an electric vehicle battery where it intercalates lithium ions at the cathode. Molybdenum disulfide in this material are the most common industrial dry lubricants. At pressures above a gigapascal, the trigonal planar atoms in this material rearrange into a tetrahedral allotrope. Rohan. Graphene. Yes. Yes. Uh, Ten. Wittgenstein, social studies, your bonus. Wittgenstein may have written this passage from philosophical investigations to directly challenge his old mentor, Bertrand Russell, who once said, a logically perfect language would be very largely private to one speaker. For 10 points each, name this thought experiment in which multiple people have containers said to hold the same object inside. Because each person can only look into their own container, they can't really know if they are talking about the same thing, making their private languages nonsensical and useless. Beetle in a box. Beetle in a box. Wittgenstein used the beetle in a box as an analogy to this unpleasant sensation, because while almost everyone experiences this sensation, it can be almost impossible to make someone else understand what their arthritis or migraine actually feels like. Pain. Yeah. Uh, this American philosopher reformulated Wittgenstein's private language argument in the 1980s with the example of a bizarre personal form of addition called the, the cost function. This man also wrote naming and necessity. That's Kripke. Kripke. You're right. All yes. three. Um, 60 second timeout? A 60 okay. second timeout has been granted. And he's going to give some of two questions here based on the session papers. Um, Josephine, I'm putting in a little bit of a Elliot, depending on what subject area you're using, that's going to be possible. That's right. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to get that. Can you have a score check, please? Oh, yeah, I have 270. I have 270. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got all three on the last one. Was. Uh, okay. The second, she's if, if she's not the sixth, you have Adam Silver, so she's yeah, uh, uh, 25 left. Uh, so yeah, and and yeah. 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 It's really annoying. <laughs> Good boys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's how bad science is. We're good. Thank you, sir. Okay, both teams ready to continue. Okay, no changes here. And we have a new player to the game over here. Josephine. Welcome to the game. And we go on to toss up number 11. The category of players is literature. A book by this author is narrated by a pregnant woman who desperately travels to a jazz club in Puerto Rico to rescue her husband, a sculptor, from jail. In a novel by this author, the protagonist spends his birthday money going to the movies for the first time, but comes home to find his brother Roy bleeding from a knife fight. This author's own Baptist preacher father was the inspiration for Gabriel, the father of the precocious gay narrator John Grimes. This author of If Beale Street Could Talk... Baldwin. It is Baldwin for 10. A math bonus question to my right for Buffalo Grove. The formula for the volume of a pyramid feels simple, but is deceptively hard to prove for good reason. 10 points each give the formula for the volume of a pyramid in terms of its vertical height, H, and base area, B. So one third B, H, right? One third B, H? Yes. Unlike the area formulas for prisms, the pyramid requires something more powerful. Prior to the invention of calculus, that something was typically this principle named for a 17th century mathematician. This principle notes that if two solids have cross sections of equal area at each point along their heights, and if they have equal heights, then the solids must have equal volume. Probably the 80s principle. It is. The fact that a simpler proof is impossible was shown by Max Dan in 1900 when he solved the third entry on this thinker's list of 23 important unsolved problems from the 20th century. Hilbert. Yep. Yeah. All three. Loss of 12 is in the category of social studies. 
The great meteor hotspot created this province's Montorigian Hills. The highest concentration of Devonian fish fossils occurs in this province's Magusha National Park. In 1912, this province absorbed most of the district of Ungava. The biggest and Quebec. Quebec is correct for 10. Pause the beat so I can call you. <laughs> okay, no worries. Thank you. Uh, number 12 bonus literature in the short story, The Undefeated, a character with this profession is most certainly defeated and winds up in the hospital for 10 points each. In this dangerous profession, the subject of the nonfiction books, Death in the Afternoon and The Dangerous Summer. In a novel, Robert Cohn punches a man with this job during a quarrel over Lady Brett Ashley. Was a bullfighter. He was. Uh, this enthusiast of boxing, bullfighting, and heavy drinking wrote The Sun Also Rises after a trip to Pamplona. There is anyway. I hope so. And The Dangerous Summer was published with a preface by this other American bullfighting enthusiast. This author's historically inspired fiction books entitled Hawaii, Texas, and Centennial, and a short story collection set at Espiritu Santo. Missioner? Yep. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Yeah. That's halftime, players. Do you know what you're projecting? You're not going to watch it. Five minute break, coaches. 15 to me. Oh, start closer. Wait, can someone put the link in your story or something? Send it to me. I did, yeah. Send it to me. Send it to me. Send it to me. Send it to me. It's been sent out yeah. all over the place. I oh, sent it to your mom. Okay, but I sent it to my friends too. Three quarters plus. Just, just go to YouTube and think search for it. I've got the first little graphing. The rest of them I think are good. That plays a little bit more of a rest of them. Well, right now. But you know, this is playing out similar to like the last one. I didn't know that much. We've had no idea. Hey, guys. Hey. hey, 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 hey I think you just now So, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chris, did you see where it says you need to read Wait, can you know, just. It's nice when we'll leave that on the board. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Wait, that's live? Oh, it is live. Oh, okay. I need to share it with you. Yeah, anytime. Anytime. You can, you can Everyone's in here. Oh, <laughs> I bet. 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 I it doesn't Hi, I don't care what that was. I did, I just texted my... Oh, yeah. 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 So, if that is sending the video directly, if you want to change the screen title or something, how would you do that? So, the trick is, I tried to update it for a few reasons. Oh, it's still late. It's in session, then. Yes, it's a young girl. It's a young girl. It's a young girl. I mess around with my friends, so like whenever I get a call with them, they can use like this stuff. So I just, when I bring my CD games, I play on it just for the random stuff. How can I? My dad's walking in. Ninety seconds left, unless we start sooner at your discretion. Jeff. Jeff. 
Changes over here. Welcome to the game. Any changes over here? No. I haven't changed, which is probably a good sign or a bad one. I don't know. Score once more. So three five zero to eighty. Okay. All right. Very good. And we continue with number thirteen, the category players in science. At the northwest edge of this body of water, a warm current whose name literally means black stream collides with the cold current, the parent stream, to make the KOE. Every 20 years, a decadal oscillation in this body of water's temperature shifts its... The Pacific Ocean. Right. Yes. 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 Buzz. Uh, your bonus is in history. This man was the first president to have a cabinet nominee rejected by the Senate for 10 points each. Name this president. President, technically a Democrat, really a Whig, who accidentally took office a month after William Henry Harrison. What was that? That guy, William Henry Harrison, rambled on at his inauguration. Thank you very much. Uh, the members of Tyler's cabinet, who were Senate approved, resigned en masse in 1841, all except this Secretary of State. This Whig subsequently resigned from Tyler's cabinet in 1843 and came back from the Taylor and Fillmore administrations. This is a way it's able to. A beloved shirt. It is not. Rebound? Clay. Uh, no, see, you were right. There's no way it was. Uh, Daniel Webster. Oh. <laughs> and resigning from John Tyler's cabinet was the smart play as both Webster's replacement and new Secretary of the Navy, Abel Upshur, died aboard this ship when its peacemaker gun exploded in 18, 1843. It is. Yeah. So you're going to get 20. Toss ups and fine arts. The parable of the Good Samaritan serves as the basis for this man's cantata, cantata misericordium. Possibly because he was born on her feast today, this man composed a hymn to St. Cecilia with words by W.H. Auden. This longtime partner of Peter Pierce, hey, written, yes, that's been written, right. Uh, social studies bonus to my right. In 2004, a Bigfoot enthusiast in the U.S. Navy named Travis McHenry claimed to rule West Antarctica, a region in Antarctica's Marie Birdland, as one of these entities. When McHenry sought recognition from foreign governments, the Navy forced him to abdicate for 10 points each. Give this two-word term that applies to monarchies like 17th century Tuscany and Napoleonic area Baden. Today, the only country that styles itself is as this type of state is Luxembourg. Excuse me. Absolute monarchy. Rebound. Dutch. Uh, prompt. Grand Duchy. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> McHenry claimed the Grand Duchy of West Antarctica because no other countries had done so themselves. That Marie, region of Marie Birdland falls under this status, whose two word Latin name indicates that no one controls it. Terrorists. Yes. The second largest example of Terra Nullius is Birtuol, a landlocked territory that is not claimed by either of these two bordering African countries. Birtuol is about 100 miles east of Lake Nubia, which is shared by these two countries along the Nile River, named both. Egypt and Sudan. It is. You're going to get 20 and pick up the other 10. Toss up number 15. A description is acceptable. The category is mathematics. When constructing the spiral of Theodorus, Plato's uh, Theotesius assumes that this fact is common knowledge and thus just lists the first oblong number without proof. A proof of this fact employs the equation p squared equals 2q squared. In the proof, p and q are assumed to be co-prime integers, so isolating and... The proof that the square root of 2 is irrational? Give him the money. That's 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 nice buzz. Good work. Uh, 10 to Homework Floss for, and you get control of this bonus in literature. Jody Smith's novel, I Capture the Castle, memorably begins, I write this sitting in one of these objects. For 10 points each, name these common objects that act as a metronome for the type of realism that was characteristic of many British angry young men authors, especially John Osborne's play, Look Back in Anger.
Yes, please. Mine. Rebound. A kitchen sink. It is a kitchen sink. Yes, right. Sink. Though he would certainly not consider himself part of the movement, this British playwright put a kitchen sink on stage for the messy apartment that's the setting of his play, The Caretaker. Another rundown house is the setting for this author's The Birthday Party. Rebound? Pinter. Pinter. Yeah, Gerald Pinter, right. Uh, on the novel front, the angry young men were led by Kingsley Amos, who wrote a campus novel about a clueless, lucky professor with this first name. Joseph Conrad wrote a novel titled For a Lord with this first name. Jim. It is. So 10 over here, 20 over here, and toss up the 16th. History, the topic. The construction of this city's walls was financed by the ransom of Richard the Lionheart, who was captured by Leopold V in a tavern in this city. Vienna. And points. Bonus is mathematics. A function is classified by this term if it satisfies the expression f of f of x equals x for all x in its domain. For 10 points each, part one, give this term for a function that acts or that is its own inverse. Identity. <coughs> Identity. Rebound. Recursive. This is called an involution, yeah. is what it is. All involutions are this type of function which satisf satisfies two related properties onto and one to one. In an alternate alternate notation, this type of function is both surjective and injective. Bijective. It is. The simplest example of an involution is this function, typically symbolized i and written as f of x equals x. Identity. Identity. Now's now the time for that, okay. right. 20 on the bonus. 30 second time out. A 30 second time out has been granted. Okay. Well, I have one hand to get their here. Their yeah. their yeah. Side. So, uh, we will sub Jack Sasha uh, for spending on the day. Good call. Luke, I'm going to let you go for at least get to send two questions now, or do you want to go now? Okay, so Farrah, why don't you come in now? I'm going to wait a little bit and have a few comments. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank all right, and we have some new players in the game, and uh, please introduce yourself. Yeah. Welcome to the game. And over here we have some new players. Ben. Anikia. Very good. All right, welcome to both of you. We are on toss-up number 17. The category is social studies. Lycus is thrown off of a cliff for his role in this event, which is the main subject of Sophocles' play, Women at Trachis. King Boeus gives his son, Philoctetes, the tool he used during this event to light a fire on Mount Etta. This crime is committed by a prior lover of the river god, Achelous. Sorry. Jealous of her husband's infidelity with the Caledonian princess Eoli. The victim of this event later married Hebe after his apotheosis. A mix of blood from the centaur Nessus and the Lernian Hydra stained the weapon used in this event. And Anthony. The murder of Yes. There we go. It's not, a, it's not a packet of questions until there's a murder involved, right? Okay. Uh, bonus to my right is in the category of miscellaneous. Eugene Schieflin released 100 of these birds into Central Park in 1890 as part of a deranged scheme to bring all the birds mentioned in Shakespeare's plays to America. For 10 points each, name this invasive species that exponentially grew to a present day population of about 500 million birds. These birds form massive flocks called murmurations. Yes, crows. Rebound? Pigeon. Uh, they are starlings, is what they are, of all things. Yeah. Decades before, Schieflin also brought the invasive house species of this bird to America. The eradication of these birds is often blamed for their horrific 1959 famine that killed tens of millions of Chinese farmers. 
swallow. Swallow. Rebound. Sparrow. Yeah, sparrow is right. Good. Oh. Okay. And for part three, Shipland's insane effort was not successful with these birds. They still don't live in the Americas. Romeo mistakes this bird's song for that of a skylark. And a Keats, Keats wrote that this immortal bird was not born for death. Thank you. It is. Right. So you're going to get 10 for the last part, and they pick up 10 on the middle. All right. Toss up number 18 literature. The founder of the poetry journal Shear wondered why authors using this language are either liberal or conservative, but not both, in his essay, The Static and the Dynamic. A 1983 poem in this language claims, the usurper's flesh will be my food. Beware, beware of my hunger. Arabic. Arabic for 10. Nice. Science bonus, Edwin H. Lamb perfected a dichroic cheat to achieve this effect by embedding iodine crystals on the line polymer chains for 10 points each. Give this adjective describing a light that has passed through a filter so that the transmitted wave now oscillates in only one plane. Polarized. Polarized. Yeah. The intensity of light transmitted by a Polaroid filter is given by this law in which maximum intensity is multiplied by the cosine squared of the relative angle between the filter and the analyzer. Analysis. Now, before Land's work, the most linear polarizing filters were made from calcite or quartz crystals with this property in Anisotropic materials with this property, the index of refraction depends upon the angle of the incident light. High refraction. You got it. All three for third. I'll use our other ten now. You got it, Paul. Good to move on. Okay, very good. No changes here, and we have a new player. Hi, my name is Ethan. My uh, favorite point is uh, straight to the point. <laughs> I can hardly blame you. Welcome to the game. Thank you. Okay, and this time we are on 19, is that correct? Yes. Okay. The category fine arts. A palace in this city holds the world's largest canvas painting, Paradise, and epitomizes this city's eponymous style of secular Gothic architecture. This city alternates between hosting the world's most prestigious modern art, art and architecture festivals in its Biennale. Peggy Guggenheim spent her last 30 years living in this city, the home of her private collection. This city's main basilica houses four bronze horse statues that were liberated Venice. Venice. Yeah, for Venice. Venice. I've been there. A math bonus. The transfer function of a controller, actuator, and input signal are usually rendered in terms of a variable symbolized by this letter. For 10 points each, a Laplace transform converts a variable parameterized by time t to a domain with units of frequency, but represented with what letter? What? S, I think. S? Yes. Okay. The only function that doesn't pick up an S term after a Laplace transform is this one which transforms to just a constant. This impulse function is infinite at the origin and zero elsewhere. Oh. <coughs> Drop delta. Yeah. Okay. Conveniently, the Laplace transformation of an nth order derivative is a constant times s to the n power. That makes a Laplace transform a convenient way to solve this general type of an equation that involves one or more derivatives. Refractive equation. Gracious, I hope so. All three for three. If that's not, then I've been teaching calculus wrong all this time. <laughs> Okay, toss of 20 math. This property is defined in terms of abscisses, lines, and half planes for certain functions that include a term of e to the negative lambda sub n times s and are named for a Dirichlet. Any analytic function must be able to be represented as a power series that locally has this property. The radius of the disk over which this property holds is the reciprocal of the limit superior to the nth root of the nth coefficient. A fact that can be shown using the ratio test. Oh, yeah, okay. Convergent, right? okay. Bonus 20 in Theravada social studies. In Theravada tradition, the concepts of right knowledge and right release are added to a path named for having this many concepts for 10 points each. Give this number of right practices in a noble path of Buddhism. 
This is twice the number of noble truths yes. preached by Siddhartha Gautama. Eight. Mm -hmm. Right release is specifically the release from this concept, usually translated from Sanskrit as suffering. The first of the four noble truths is the existence of this characteristic of samsara. Dukkha. Uh-huh. Following the Eightfold Path leads to becoming an Arat, one who has been released from suffering. Mayana tradition teaches that you can go further and become one of these people who is on the path to becoming an actual Buddha. Bodhisattva. You've got all three. Plus 21. This is literature, by the way. I'm sorry. Sometimes I skip yeah. on that because I'm so used to not yeah. announcing the question. Okay. Literature. This author concluded lost in God in Godhead found after the death of his own five-year-old son in Frenody. This author wrote, if eyes were made for seeing... Emerson. Yep. Yeah. 21 bonus history. For 10 points each, you have the following about women fighting for indigenous rights across Latin America in the 20th century. In the 1990s, Nina Picari became the foremost legal activist in this country. Picari helped draft this country's new constitution, which protected indigenous ways of life and was the world's first constitution to grant legal rights to nature. The constitution was passed under the leadership of Rafael Correa. Ecuador. It is. In Mexico's Campeche state, a lady pitch led a group of Mayan activists against the giant agrochemical corporation's planting of transgenic soybeans. The crop needed large applications of this company's Roundup herbicide, which decimated vital native bee species. Monsanto? Uh-huh. This woman received the 1992 Nobel Peace Prize for her work exposing the atrocities committed against the Mayan people by Efrain Rios' monster regime during Guatemala's civil war. She continues to promote indigenous causes at home and abroad today. Legal man from the It is. All three good Okay. Toss up number 22 is in social studies. Urbawi is the last factory left in Hebron that makes these Avi 24 speech in which he submitted the case to the International Court of Justice. Over Thanksgiving of 2023, Jason Eaton was charged with the attempted murder of three Vermont students who were wearing these objects. Besser and Jack. Kefiga? Yes. And uh, Homewood Floss War, your bonus is in science. Uh, gold nanoparticles form one of these unstable mixtures when conjugated with negatively charged DNA. For 10 points each, name these suspensions of undissolved particles or insoluble phases that are dispersed in a continuous phase. Emulsions and aerosols are other examples of these substances. Mixture. Rebound? These are colloids. Colloids. Yeah. Colloid. The negative charge on colloidal gold nanoparticles keeps the colloid stable, but adding these compounds to screen charge at close links causes the colloid to collapse. This general class of compounds increases a solution's ionic strength. Catalyst. Rebound? Assault. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Colloids are only stable if this quantity is either very positive or very negative. This is the electrostatic energy per unit charge required to move an ion from bulk solution to the charged surface of a particle. Action potential. Rebound. Is it the zeta potential? It is the zeta potential. So we'll grab all 30 other rebounds. And toss of 23 is in science. Catheter ablation treats patients who have an unnaturally high rate of this process because they have an accessory pathway. The accelerant's nerve increases the rate of this process by secreting or adrenaline in opposition to the vagus nerve. A sheet of grid paper where one square measures 40 milliseconds by 100 microvolts is used to diagram the normal P, Q, R, S, and T stages of the normal sinus. It's a heartbeat. It is a heartbeat for 10. Yep. Bonus 23 fine arts for 10 points each. Give the following about the life lessons that you might learn from the paintings of Peter Bruegel the Elder. Lesson number one, don't fly too close to the sun or you might drown in the corner of a Bruegel landscape just like this character from Greek myth. Icarus. Uh -huh. Lesson number two, don't bang your head against a brick wall, which a peasant does in this 1559 oil painting that renders a bunch of Dutch idioms literally. Netherlands problems. Uh -huh. And lesson number three, don't let your good-for-nothing sons copy all your paintings and steal the credit, as Peter Bruegel the Younger did for a version of this biblical scene. Da Vinci's unfinished version of this scene was planned as an altarpiece for a Florence cathedral. Wow. Fly to Egypt. Rebound. 
Oh, okay. just using Matthew? Uh, no, Adoration of the Magi okay. is what I had here. So you're going to get a 20 on the bonus. Come for the Scholastic Bowl. Get the life lessons from <laughs> Dutch painters. Last toss-up of the match. History. A man who developed real estate in this non-Californian city put out Billy's list of communist sympathizers, which eventually became the Hollywood blacklist. Hank Greenspan founded this city's main pro-Zionist newspaper. That paper has since merged with a paper owned by Sheldon Adelson, who also made his fortune in this American city. A visit to this city by the Chicano author Oscar Acosta led to the coining of the term gonzo journalism. Las Vegas? It is, yes. right. <laughs> To my right, last bonuses in literature, this author refused to allow a film version of one of his plays to be made by a white director, so it sat in development limbo, limbo for a decade after his death in 2005. For 10 points each, named this playwright. Denzel Washington has committed the rest of his career to producing films of this author's Pittsburgh cycle, having so far succeeded with Fences and Mo Rainey's Black Bottom. Mm -hmm. Next up for Denzel Washington is a Netflix production of a Wilson play starring John David Washington as Boy Willie, who wants to sell one of these title family heirlooms? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Many cinephiles hope that Felicia Rashad will reprise her Broadway role to star as this 285 year old woman, the protagonist of Gem of the Ocean and arguably the entire Pittsburgh cycle. She dies in King Hedley II. There's the little thing I know. Maureen. Rebound? And it is Aunt Esther. Esther. That closes the match. Thank you both very much for a very entertaining match. I have four, one thirty, the seven thirty. And we need an initial for both coaches, please. Oh, setting that up. Just watch it. It worked out. Yeah. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I not from this angle we've already had one of our for the copyright strikes. So it's, you know, music. It might have been music in the background of the drum or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then when we yeah. consolidate, yeah. 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 so, so, it counts for all of it. What's up? You do it. We can take about two things so we don't mess up the other building. Oh, yeah. So I really had to tell you that. And ever since, you know, we can take over two or three years. So even if you digest the whole thing, I know Confucius. Yay! Good job. Who wrote No Exit? 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 Who wrote No and then so music musical. I think it's just that comes with the Yeah. Oh yeah.
I might if someone wants to help. No, 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 this composer, no, 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 That's like the uh but they added an extra qualifier that's like I don't know this operation of the merger. I don't know the parameters, but I would guess like that was that was a little bit like that was in the car uh, <laughs> let's get it save it around six and a half just forget the network this part forget it right that's a bad topic dude I don't know this could be possible for everybody I was going to ask that. You got fewer than 12. That's why it's both teams have definitely one. Why are you not? Why don't you just look at it? I don't remember the numbers. Because you were on your phone. I don't remember you though. I was reading articles. I'm supposed to yell at you to say on your phone. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just stand in there. Especially considering that I already like to have squad a bit that before I was squatting on that. But you're fine. No, 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 no. And if we could get the door, that'd be great. Okay, we're back. Well, so well, so so well, 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 so Good luck, both teams. Fine arts toss up. 
This composer rhymed proud of every thoroughfare with in this borough fair Brooklyn in a box style chorale in the middle of his song, That Kind of a Neighborhood. In a master class at London's Guildhall School, this composer of Saturday Night coached a singer to not be too feisty while plucking a cello during Henrik's portion of the trio, now later <coughs> soon. Another of this composer's characters realizes that Dot will inevitably leave him as he obsessively continues finishing the hat. This composer of A Little Night Music and Sunday in the Park with George used... Sondheim? Yes! Yes! yes. 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 History yes. bonus. Yes. An 18... Oh, Stephen Sondheim. Sondheim. Music theater, not classical. Oh. Uh, in 1857, <laughs> rebellion of these soldiers began at Barrack Corps after Mongol Pandey started shouting, From biting these cartridges, we shall become infidels. Uh, give the term for a locally recruited Indian soldier to serve in the forces of the British East India Company. Sepoys. Uh, sepoys like Pandey mutinied because they believed that new Enfield rifle cartridges had been greased with fat from these two animals. Biting off the ends of the cartridges would therefore have been insulting to both Muslims and Hindus. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Kids and cows. Yeah. 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 Other sepoys likely had more grievance with this doctor which allowed the East India Company to annex and govern a princely state if its ruler died without a male heir or was just judged manifestly incompetent by the company itself. Doctrine of Lapse. Third. That's good. Nice. 14 is science. This phenomenon corresponds to maximum efficiency in systems with piezoelectric actuators. Aircraft engine noise is produced with a type of this phenomenon named for Helmholtz, and this, type of, and this kind of absorption allows gamma-ray nuclei interaction without recoil in the Moss power effect. This phenomenon occurs when capacity... Presence? Uh, mm, yep, you're good. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, you said it, and I looked to see where the power was. It's, it's been a while since I read power Uh Bonus 14 is miscellaneous. Liz Wallace is credited in the original script that introduced this concept. Liz's name appears on a marquee in the script, as does the title Rambo Meets Godzilla. For ten points each, name this three-pronged rule, which was originally stated as one, a movie has to have at least two women in it, who two, talk to each other about three, something other than a man. Alice in Backdale's comic strip, introducing the test, cites this 1979 horror film as passing the test. Because Sigourney Weaver's Ridley and Veronica Cartwright's Lambert briefly discussed the title creature on board the spaceship Nostromo. Bechdel has largely dismissed the test as a one-off joke, especially in promotional interviews for his off-band 2006 graphic memoir and its 2013 musical adaptation that won a Best Musical Tony. Fun home. Third. Nice. <laughs> 15 is social studies. The 13-line Indo-Pak script is a recent popular method for producing these objects. Nearly all of these objects produced today appear to a standard Quran manuscripts. That will work. That's yeah. That was a toss of on the Quran as in the physical book. Uh, I really liked a lot of those clues. I will show them to you guys later if you want. Uh, bonus 15 is math. For 10 points each, give the following about cubing the complex number 3 plus 4i. Uh, note that it probably won't help you to know that the result of that computation will turn out to be negative 117 plus 44i. Find the modulus, that is the absolute value, of the resulting complex number, which was negative 117 plus 44i. It's probably easier to do that calculation on the original form, which was 3 plus 4i quantity cubed. Yeah, 125. Finding the modulus is easier in its original form because you can exploit this formula named for a Frenchman. This formula simplifies raising complex numbers to integer powers like these. Yeah, more view. Louder? Yeah, more view. Yeah. Uh, assume that when you write the numbers in cis form for the convenient use of Dumois' theorem, the complex number uh, 3 plus 4i has an angle of theta. Find the angle in terms of theta of <coughs> negative 117 plus 44i. And just 3 is theta, does so matter? Uh, yeah, 3 times theta. Yeah, it just yeah. triples 30. Yeah. Plus 16 is math. <coughs> Manifold learning is equivalent to the nonlinear reduction in the number of these things by techniques like UMAP. Incrementing the number of these things exponentially increases the search time to find an optimum, according to John Bellman's curse of them. To make data mining computationally tractable, projection effectively reduces the number of these things. If all the variables... <coughs> that's right. Nice. Nice. Literature. 
Vi virtually every news outlet that reported on the 2023 Nobel Prize in Literature com compared the winner, Jon Fosse, Norway's second most commonly programmed playwright, to this author. First, I'm going to change this most commonly programmed Norwegian playwright, the author of Peer Gint to the Master Builder. Ibsen. Fosse's play Night Songs is frequently described as a modern take on an Ibsen play, and specifically Fosse's liberated Valerie and her shuttered husband are often compared to this Ibsen married couple who visit with Dr. Bond. Gathers. Over. Oh, Time, unfortunately. Uh, that's the Helmers or Nora and Helmers. Oh, yeah. A 2006 double bill in New York paired Fossa's play Death Variations with this dark Ibsen tragedy. The historian, Dame Rebecca West, took her pen name from the protagonist of this play. The Wild Dog. No, we don't. Uh, it's Rosmer's home. So first part gets you 10. Class 17 is history. For 27 years, a mustachioed dictator of this country, nicknamed the Catfish, hanged prisoners on meat hooks through their throats at La, La Rotonda prison. Democracy in this country was ensured by a truce between COPEI, C-O-P-E-I, and democratic action, at least until 1989 protests secured power for the Fifth Republic movement. In 1960, Dominican President Rafael Trujillo Venezuela. is right. Yes. yes. Science. Insect or bird swarming is a common example of a behavior that exhibits this phenomena. Name this general effect studied in many fields, but especially in systems biology, in which a network of multiple individuals can show complex behaviors or traits that some individuals by themselves do not. Symbiosis. No. Rebound? Like radiation? Sure. Radiation? That's called emergent behavior. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Why do I need? This yes. hypothesis. Yes. This hypothesis, first put forward by James Lovelock and further backed up by Lynn Margulis, suggests that the Earth and its ecosystems is an emergent system that resembles one large living organism. Gaia hypothesis. Gaia hypothesis. Real. Okay. The Gaia hypothesis contends that emergence occurs from the interaction of living organisms and these non-living factors in an ecosystem. Abiotic. These factors include soil quality, temperature, and water. Abiotic. 24. Class 18 is literature. After a character in this novel gives a graphic explanation of a chicken pecking par a chicken pecking party. He's rebuffed by a man who instead claims that he's a rabbit hippity hopping through our Walt Disney World. This novel's narrator worries about the aggressive use of a fog machine operated by the. What of the hoop is missed? Barely in time, but in time and correct. Yes. That is oh. all. Yeah. What a fool. Social studies bonus. This guy offers a pretty good guarantee of immortality to Haranika Shifu. Specifically, it's impossible for him to be killed by any living or non living thing inside or outside during the day or the night, in the ground or in the sky. For 10 points each. Now, name this member of the Trinmurti, the Hindu creator god. Vishnu's uh, yeah. victory over Hiranyaka Shifu, which is accomplished by holding the god between his thighs at twilight in the threshold of a courtyard in the guise of a man lion, is celebrated in this Hindu festival. Well, I guess, uh, is it over. Lori. This is holy. Oh, it was. Vishnu's victory is another point. Yeah. Yeah. This is Lori. Uh, Vishnu's victory is another point in favor of the good Hindu devas in their age-old battle against these rivals. This group of more evil yeah. gods yeah. includes Hiranyakashi. Yes. Yeah. Twenty points over there. Oh. That's that's cool. that's cool. that was nineteen is science. A plot of the number of these structures versus time tracks tightly with the F10.7 index. Since 2019, a 13-month box car average of the number of these structures has been unexpectedly high. Sunspots? Yes. Oh. History bonus. Seymour Lohman, one of Herbert Hoover's assistant secretaries of the Treasury, oversaw a federally sponsored mass poisoning program to enforce this policy. 
for 10 points each. And this policy that was uh, more conventionally enforced by agents like Elliot Ness must meet the speakeasies and arresting bootleggers. Prohibition, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After the federal government killed thousands of people by spiking booze with formaldehyde, this chairman of the Anti Saloon League claimed that it was totally fine because people were poisoning themselves by drinking alcohol in the first place. <laughs> Okay. So, look, I don't know Over. Cassidy? Wayne Wheeler. Oh. When Wheeler's oh, support of mass poisoning was made public, he retreated into public exile at the sanitarium in Battle Creek, Michigan, founded by this. The only thing to do is feed the wretch as well, after telling the title character that her husband was untrue. This author's line, the truth is rarely pure and never simple, <laughs> found in a trivial comedy for serious people, seriously offended the Marquess of Queensbury, his lover's, lover's father. A character quips that losing two parents seems like carelessness in a play by this author that hinges on the revelation that baby Jack was discovered in a- Yeah, filed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Science bonus. The slope of a curve on a pressure temperature phase diagram exactly equals the partial derivative of these two other variables according to the Clapeyron equation. For 10 points each. Name these two extensive variables that are related to pressure and temperature on thermodynamic squares and through the Maxwell relations. Um, it's volume and entropy. Volume and entropy. It is. Yes. Right. The slope of the bubble point line on a two-component PXY phase diagram is constant according to this equation. This law states that the partial pressure of a volatile chemical equals vapor pressure times the liquid phase mole fraction. Right. Law. However, on a PXY diagram, the line name for this temperature is curved. If air is cooled below this temperature, water vapor will begin to condense, as often seen in the early morning. Boiling point. Over. Dew point. Dew point. point. Two point. Two point. Yeah. 20 and then 10. Let's see if we can get a higher. Uh, sure. 30 or 60? 60. 60. And we'll check this score. Just keep talking, though, right? Yeah. Like, don't, don't hold back. Yeah, the bottom. We can get a score. Yeah. Yeah. That is correct. We have a 70 point Buffalo Grove lead right now. The next toss-up will be toss-up 21. There are four more cycles. So, go ahead and process the votes. There's no, there's no rush on votes. Right. I I had one at uh, community college where a team called yeah. time after realized they were behind by exactly the remaining number of points. So their coach was like, she did everything right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that that was already the strategy. That's, that's always the strategy. Answer the question. Okay, so once again, we have Buffalo Grove 380, University High 310. It is a 70 point margin. There are four cycles left to play, and the first one starts with a math toss up. <coughs> a poem about the cattle of Helios is attributed to this man and leads to a problem whose solution has over 200,000 digits. This man's quadrature of the parabola includes a landmark proof finding the area of a. Nice bonus. Yes. Social study bonus. Uh, for time, he's been poem about women's hats in various world cultures. Sometimes mistaken for a top hat, this country's favorite hat fabric is still worn by girls for St. David's Day celebrations in cities like Swansea and Cardiff. Cardiff is right with us. Wales? Yeah. In this country, Quechua and Aymara women have worn bowler hats since the 1920s when a shipment intended for railroad workers proved too small to fit the men. Bolivia. The women's ayam and the men's gat are hats dating from at least the early Joseon period when much of this traditional clothing style of Korea was established. Answer. Silla. No? Over. Honda? That's right. Nice! Yeah. 20 in the chest. Oh. Nice. Uh, Toss 22 is history. Thomas Rudyard helped this person write a frame of government that unusually, uh, oh, er, that unusually imposed capital punishment only for treason and murder. In a so-called great treaty signed under an elm tree, this person and chief town. Ten. Good. Yes. Literature bonus. 
This place opening stage direction described New Orleans as a cosmopolitan city where it's not unusual for a white woman named Eunice to share an apartment building with a black family. Uh, name this play that celebrates an American melting pot where the British Polish American Stanley Kowalski can play poker with a Mexican American friend named Pablo. Streetcar on the side. In a memorable scene from Streetcar, a Mexican street vendor offers Blanche some snapdragons and says this ominous four word Spanish phrase. Um, and, Flores por los muertos. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then I'm required to also finish and say Edward Alpi has George reference this phrase in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Uh, Williams later used Mexico as the setting for, thi setting for this play about a group of unlikely hotel guests, including Reverend Shannon, a bunch of Nazis, and a reptile spending a rainy evening together in Veracruz. Not a V1. Okay. Time out, time out, time out. Technically, he's got to call us. Do you want a timeout? Oh, yes. Cool. Public. Would you like a 30 second? Okay. <laughs> Bro, let's go. It's, it's always like a captain. It is absolutely. That is the deal. That, that's that is actually a rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We think it's dumb too, but it's in the. It is dumb. Yeah, I'm going to get the last time shot. Let's go. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's 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 good. Ready to go? Yes. Ready to go? Yes. That is correct. We have a 90 point lead this way. Plus 23. Social studies. This work's preface notes that Christianity is Platonism for the people, and its after song is called From High Mountains. This work laments the masking of free spirits by the herd, and it contrasts the feminine Greeks and masculine Jews. This work introduced the master slave morality distinction expanded, on, uh, expanded in On the Genealogy of Morals. The gay science? No. Whoever fights monsters should see to it that, in the process, he does not become a monster is an aphorism contained in this book, <laughs> which also introduced the notion that when you look long into an abyss, the abyss also looks into you. For ten points, name this Friedrich Nietzsche book, which suggests the sublimation of the will to power as a way that philosophy can move past the two title concepts. Young but in evil. He's right. Goodness. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. Fine arts. This piece was originally dedicated to the biracial violin virtuoso George Bridgetower, who sight read its 1803 premiere. Probably just not a final. Unfortunately, yes, but I now have to say, after a drunken spat with Bridgetower, though, its composer rededicated it to another violinist who never performed the piece for 10 points each, named his unusually long violin sonata in A minor than ninth by its composer. Whereas Janicek's first string quartet was inspired by and shares its name with this piece, but also yes. <laughs> this composer of the Kreutzer Sonata also changed the dedication of his Eroica Symphony from To Napoleon to To the Memory of a Great Man. Uh, Beethoven. Beethoven dedicated tons of works to Archduke Rudolf, including this piano sonata, whose fourth movement features a three-voice fugue in triple meter marked Allegro di Zaluco. This German nickname work is considered one of Beethoven's most technically demanding in the play. Hammer Klavier. Third. Toss up the last. Fine arts. At the top of this painting, the letters I O N A S. The last judgment. Wow. Math bonus. 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 Math Math bonus. 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 In 1824, Niels Abel published a complete proof of a result that was incompletely proven by this Italian mathematician. While this man also names a rule for a quick synthetic division by a linear polynomial, he's probably most famous for his connection with Abel. Yeah, the Friedrich connection. Cardano. That is the cubic guy that's wrong. Rebound? Uh, Ruffini. Yes. Okay, yes. The Abel Ruffini theorem notes that the general case of polynomials with this inter -degree, integer degree or higher cannot be solved algebraically. Put it another way, the inner degrees less than this number do have a formula. Uh, 20, then with 10 stolen. Yeah. Heck of a game, everyone. Yeah. Final score is Buffalo Grove 480 and is headed to the final. University 370 and is headed to the third place match.
What did you say about Oh, really? Per don't. It's an actual one game of the Purdue didn't. Wisconsin kind of last second bucket to make it go ahead and get it to overtime and then the last second bucket. How did Illinois do? Oh, that's not good. Right after this game. Yeah. Last for the last second bucket. We're Wisconsin down. Yeah. By one. Then they got a basket and two seconds left. It's a lot of bounce the ball like really high off the rim and just like straight. I don't know where you want And they are, and they are. It's kind of fun, man. It's like, yeah, it's over time. It's certain almost. I know. You were 60. Yeah. 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 And then it gives you just been rolling. I know. Still, remember, the task is the same. Yeah. Oh, right. And there's a chance I want to go through, like, like the problem, like, just. The probability of a buzzer beater going in in March and the buzzer beater going in not in March. <laughs> I, I, I think it might be higher in March, but that also may be a little bit less. <laughs> My buzzer beater, I need buzzer beater to end either overtime or like or a fight. I just want to say, what do you think of I like I don't know why I was thinking I was thinking but that's like it's like what do you have to do you have to like make sure it's like make sure the yeah, or like here, Facebook would be, but like, it's like, you have to play, uh, turn the brace, like the, the wall. And I you know, just say, like, Israel is like, God bless you. Thank you. Like, yeah, like, God bless you. Hey guys, go ahead and stand up. We're not starting yet. Okay, yeah, we're not starting like that. It's a lot of I don't know. 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 I don't that's all I'm saying. Northwestern is winning. I <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> 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 
No, no, it wasn't that long. Coach, hey, how can you get the finger? Any questions before we start? It isn't. Yeah, it isn't. It isn't. Is this? Is this like last year's specific stage? It isn't. Is this like last year's? I don't even remember what probably nine was five minutes ago. Just answer the questions. Do your best. Great. Welcome to the IHSA Scholastic Bowl Class 2A State Championship match between Buffalo Grove and Levante Valley Rural. A round of applause. For all the other matches, I'll do it again. Thank you to the spectators in the room for coming out today to support the teams. Please do silence your cell phones. Uh, good sportsmanship is required of players, subs, coaches, and spectators. And students, obviously, please speak clearly, speak up, and enunciate when you're answering. Yeah, I imagine you're pretty good at that. My name is Brad Fisher, uh, moderating this match and head editor of the question set. It is an honor of a lifetime to write these questions for these students. And watching them devour them is absolutely exhilarating. I'm going to enjoy this just as much as you all are. Uh, scorekeeping for this round. Uh, my name is Michael Waterman. Yeah. In addition to moderating today, Mike also wrote science and history and social science questions for this tournament. It would not have happened without him this year, last year, or future years. I'm incredibly indebted to Mike, as well as Greg Peterson, another one of our moderators, as well as Adam Silverman, and this year's writing team. I need to say thank you to them a thousand times over. I'm definitely getting one in now. As both teams get ready and get set, just for me, breathe easy. It's quiz bowl. Have some fun. Let's do introductions. We'll start on my left with Javante Valley. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my name is Rick Carson, the captain of this Javante Valley High School special team. Coach head of Mrs. Casey and Mrs. Cobias. Um, before I introduce the team, I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Stiff, and our director of activities, Mr. Schmickle, for coming to watch us today. Um, thank you so much. Your support is very much really appreciated by this team. Um, yeah, so whoever so I'd like to introduce to themselves from my left to my right, we'll do it right there. Come here. Um, hello, guys. I'm Ethan from uh, Milwaukee Valley, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Akshay, and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a sophomore with Milwaukee Valley High School. Welcome to the bottom. I'm Eric, right, Buffalo Grove. I'm Rowan, I'm captain of the BG squad school team coached by Darren Michaels, Mr. Russell. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Wardle for coming down here. Um, thank you, your support has been everything, and hopefully you've <laughs> enjoyed your time here. Um, my team is going to introduce themselves from my left to my left with their favorite future scientist. Um, mine is future biologist, Shiva Kumar Verma. Uh, I'm Jack. Uh, my favorite would be uh, future chemist, Rohan Ganesha. I'm Anthony. My favorite chemist would be, yeah, future chemist around the 
Um, is Daniel my favorite feature designer? Because we've all had dinner today. My name is Sasha. I'm my favorite feature designer. It's a favorite feature guy. Well, you realize you don't have to go to something like architecture or English stuff, something like that. Best of luck, both teams. Congratulations on making it here. Have fun with the next 24 toss ups. We start, oh, I was going to say a thing. The state finals packet, this has been mentioned before, but uh, state packet 7, 8, 9 are cool pool, they're all one difficulty level. 8 was not supposed to be harder than 7 or easier than 7, they're supposed to be balanced, just like sections was. Uh, state finals is hypothetically a step slightly more difficult than that. Um, calibrate yourselves accordingly, starting with toss up one. Class of one is social studies. Popular Bank is headquartered in this city's cabaret barrio. Street vendors selling alcapurias are a popular stop for tourists engaging in this city's culture of chinchorro restaurant hopping. Operation Serenity installed blue cobblestones to give a false impression of old world charm in this city, which sits on an islet cut off by El Bacabon. This American city is home to the largest population of Borinquinos today, as well as Ponce de Leon's grave. San Cristobal, the largest Spanish fort. St. Augustine? Uh, sorry, you're welcome. San Cristobal, the largest Spanish fort in the New World, defended this city, as did La Fortaleza, the oldest continuously used executive mansion in the New World. For 10 points, name this capital city of the largest Commonwealth of the United States, Puerto Rico. Oh, this is fine arts. The main three-note motif of this 1942 orchestral work is introduced and developed by the full orchestra for almost half of this piece's runtime before the narrator begins to speak. For 10 each part one, name this work whose narration begins, fellow citizens, we cannot escape history. That is what he said. True definition of silence. Sorry, no thoughts. Is that the Colin Coffer? Uh, sorry, this is Lincoln Portrait. Part two, Lincoln Portrait was written by this American composer. The Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra premiered Lincoln Portrait, as well as this composer's Fanfare for the Common Man. Oh, no copy. Sorry. Aaron Goldman conducted Lincoln Portrait with many narrators, including this contralto singer after her retirement from singing. Secretary of the Interior Carol Hicks introduced this singer at her most famous concert in 1939, where she performed Schubert's Ave Maria and Florence Price's My Soul is Anchored in the Lord. Anderson. Mary Anderson's Trick, class two. Class of two is math. Chebyshev's definition for this quantity is analogous to solving a problem about a king on an infinite dimensional chessboard. String alignment algorithms impose an increasing penalty as the edit, or Levenstein, form of this quantity increases. Entropy? Uh, sorry, no. I'll finish. All metric spaces are equipped with a formula for calculating this quantity. In taxicab geometry, this quantity is the sum of the absolute value in the difference in each coordinate, while in Euclidean geometry, all of those terms are squared in a formula similar to the Pythagorean theorem. For 10 points, name this quantity that measures the spatial separation between two points. Distance. Bonus and social studies. Followers of this religion directed their qibla away from Mecca toward Lalish, the site of the tomb of its founder, Sheikh Ali. For 10 each, name this syncretic monotheistic religion centered in modern-day northern Iraq and Syria. Its holy sites and many of its adherents were nearly wiped out by a 2014 genocide led by the Islamic State. <coughs> Uh, sorry, Yazid. Yazid. Yazidism started as an offshoot of this Islamic mystic sect. Mendicants in this sect dance wildly in the ritual of Gidio. Sufi? Sufi is correct. Whereas Islamic texts mention at least 20 angels by name, Yazidis hold that only this many angels exist. The Catholic Church also lists this many archangels, one per seal of heaven. Seven? Seven. Seven. Twenty and ten. <coughs> Toss of three is science. The solvent window is a range of values for this quantity over which a solvent doesn't react. 
This quantity is cycled up and down on triangular or square waveforms by combining a warping, an auxiliary, and a reference device that is calibrated by the value of this quantity at which silver equilibrates with silver chloride. Like the cell potential? Reduction potential. Oh, okay. Cool. Ten. Okay. Nice. Uh, potential, voltage, reduction, potential, cell potential. So our bonus is history. The refusal of Austrian and Russian forces to march on Berlin, despite a three to one numerical advantage, was one of several unlikely outcomes that made 1759 the Annus Miraculous of the Seven Years' War for England. Take part one. At the Battle of Minden, a disorganized Anglo German army somehow prevented a French invasion of this electorate, ruled by King George II. This territory names the ruling house of Great Britain for most of the 18th and 19th centuries. Bavaria? Sorry, I'm not so. Hanover. Oh my god. Part two. In 1759, victories by an under equipped Royal Navy forced France to abandon its support for this group, primarily based in Scotland that aimed to restore the House of Stuart to the throne. Jacobites. Jacobites. Yes. Part three. The British failed to kick the French off Martinique, but they did capture this sugar-producing French colony in the West Indies. The British government was later <coughs> criticized for giving this island back to France in exchange for some frozen wasteland called Canada. Yes. Martinique. Sorry, not Guadalupe. Guadalupe's for Ten and twenty soil. Fossil Florence history. In this town, Seneca Chief Ellie Parker was assigned to take dictation and was told, it is good to have one real American here. A table looted in this town was donated to the Smithsonian by Elizabeth Custer. Philip Sheridan's victory over George Pickett at Five Forks led to the battle of this town, which fell after James Longstreet's cavalry were cut off from providing reinforcement just two weeks after the Siege of Petersburg ended. Cold water. Sorry, no much. After his first house was destroyed by a cannonball, grocer Wilbur McLean moved south to this town. In McLean's new parlor, Robert E. Lee finally met Mrs. S. Grant face to face. The ten points in this Virginia town, named for its courthouse, where the American Civil War concluded. Evidence. What is literature? In a 2020 novel, this author used her own grandfather as the model for the Night Watchman, who testifies to Congress <coughs> against termination during the 1960s. Britannia Part 1 named this novelist who used her own experiences as a member of the Turtle Mountain Band of the Chippewa in novels like Love Medicine. Alexi? Sorry, not Alexi. This is Luis Erdrich. Erdrich's Night Watchman protests a 1960s scheme that would have closed these places. A blues band develops at one of these places near Spokane in the debut novel of another indigenous author, Sherman Alexi. With the reservation. Part three. The Turtle Mountain Reservation in The Night Watchman is in this state, also the setting of Erdrich's new novel, The Sentence. St. Clair Lewis's fiction is largely either set in the fictional Winnemac, which is heavily inspired by this state, or is explicitly set in this state, as in Main Street. Minnesota. Yes. Last yes. Yes. Plus five, finance. This artist's distrust of juries led him to propose a clause that anyone could exhibit two paintings as long as they collectively occupied less than four square meters of wall space. Influenced by theosophy, this artist wrote that fulfilling the inner need of an artist required a hierarchy of circles, triangles, and squares. This synesthete compared the color yellow to a middle C on a trumpet in his landmark textbook Concerning the spirit. Yeah, Kandinsky. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What is the science? Sometimes the study of gases is slightly more complicated than PV equals NRT. Then each part one. Statistical mechanics generally assumes that a gaseous system obeys this hypothesis that all possible configurations of the system are equally probable in the long run. For an ideal gas particle trapped inside a container, this descriptor means that the particle will visit every allowable location. Given enough time. Equal partition theorem. Sorry, no, not so good. Trying to walk? This is the ergodic hypothesis. Part two. The gases thermodynamics can be explored with an ensemble of these configurations, which have different particle positions and velocities 
but the same volume, number of particles, and total system energy. One formula for entropy equals Boltzmann's constant times the natural log of the number of these configurations of states. <laughs> In keeping with basic kinetic theory, statistical mechanics holds that ideal gas particles only undergo this type of collision, which conserves kinetic energy. Elastic. 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 Plus six, literature. In a novel with this title, the protagonist acts out a skit about a girl who repeatedly confuses two physicists named Ivan with a Hungarian classmate also named Ivan. In another novel with this title, as party guests compete to tell the worst thing that they've ever done, Totsky confesses to stealing flowers to impress his old concubine. The 2022 novel Either Or is a sequel to a novel with this title about a Turkish Harvard student. The idiot. These are different. <laughs> Bonus is bad. The theorized ability of this type of computer to wreck RSA encryption by factoring integers quickly has motivated modern photographers to build algorithms resistant to them to which part one made these computers that store data in a superposition of bits. They are named in analogy to a field of modern physics pioneered by Max Planck. Quantum computers, that's bad. Quantum computers will probably render obsolete a popular public key encryption method that requires computing the discrete algorithm on these curves. The modularity theorem around the semi-stable examples of this type of curve was memorably proven by an English mathematician in 1993. Sinusoidal. 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 Elliptic curves. Elliptic curves is correct. Part three. Post quantum cryptography assumes that these functions will still be secure against attack. These functions map keys to fixed values, according to a table. Hash. That's right. Twice in Elliptic curves, that's the tiny Amashiro conjecture. We decided it wasn't hard enough to keep spotting the middle. Fossil seven is the miscellaneous fossil. An international competition planned as part of this project was won by two Chinese women who designed a time capsule that opens every 50 years and a mirrored roof that covers three large beehives. A golden rooster contains the names of the planners of this project, including its longtime leader, General Georgelin, who died in a mountain climbing accident in August 2023. Hundreds of ancient oak trees were cut down to build a new building with a down? Yeah, 10. Your bonus is social studies. In a popular TED talk, this thinker discusses, discusses a discrimination lawsuit filed by Emma de Graffin against a car company that claimed to meet diversity quotas because it hired both black employees and women. Pertaining to part one, name this American scholar who coined the term intersectionality to describe the problem of overlapping systemic biases. Catch up. ten. Intersectionality is a key component of this academic field, which was pioneered by Crenshaw and others in the 70s. The Stop Woke Act currently bans teachers from teaching it in Florida. They told the students are free. Intersectionality was a key tenet of the Compahee River Collective, a black feminist group active in this U.S. state capital city in the 1970s. Today, Ayanna Presley represents a district in this city. All three points. That's enough. <coughs> Plus an e is literature. A Richard Wilbur poem titled for these specific objects ends by noting, this is all their wisdom and their art, to grow, stretch, crack, and not yet come apart. These objects click upon themselves as the breeze rises and turn many colored as they shed crystal shells that resemble broken glass. A speaker weary of considerations remembers these objects which help him get away from Earth a while and then come back to it and begin it over. In a poem from Mountain Interval, a boy too far from his... Birches? Ten. Yes! Bonus yes. science. For discovering this protein complex, Yoshio Masu won the Lasker Prize, but he was snubbed for the subsequent novel that was shared by Lee Hartwell, Paul Nurse, and Tim Hunt. To each part one, name this protein complex that drives the cell cycle in many eukaryotes. It is formed as a mixture of cyclin B and a cyclin dependent kinase. Antiphase promoting complex. Sorry, no, not. 
the activity factor that are defined in PDF. So I think this is maturation promoted back to the MPF. Part two, Massively studied the division of cells in the embryos of Xenopus, a clawed example of these animals, which are common model organisms for studying embryonic development. Frog. This is a yeah. frog. Part three. Tim Hunt isn't a frog guy. Instead, he discovered cyclins in the eggs of this organism. This echinoderm destroys kelp forests and is only held in check by sea otters in a common example of a keystone interaction. Sea urchins. Right. Time out. Thirty seconds. <laughs> This task is NP complete with three nodes. Auto differentiation in TensorFlow is mainly used to accelerate this process, which optimizes an expectation value of the likelihood function called empirical risk. Naive Bayes classifiers minimize the data required for this process, which boils down to back propagation. Machine learning? Hot. Which step? Training? Ten points. Nice. Yeah. Okay. history. Milwaukee has been a surprising haven for this political party, electing its candidate for mayor four times between 1910 and 1956. Tenage named this political party, whose most successful presidential candidate won 3% of the popular vote in 1920, even though he was in jail. Socialist. But two, the alarming rise of the socialists was a contributing factor to the first of the red types of these events in the 20s. A lavender one of these events targeted homosexuals in the 50s. Part three, once Eugene Debs gave up running, this Presbyterian minister was the socialist candidate for president in the next six elections. This pacifist was the subject of Martin Luther King's 1965 speech, The Bravest Man I Ever Met. Thomas? Norman Thomas is good for 30 minutes. Plus 10, science. The Miles Hoffman model shows how yields decrease on an S curve when the proxy for this variable exceeds about five decisines per meter. This quantity is particularly high for the mud that coats the surface of a playa. During bioterrorism, strata with high values for this property intrude into rock above them to form domes. This quantity is estimated for soil by centrifuging it in water then taking an electrical conductivity measurement. Leaching reduces temples. Notice the literature. A poem by this author inspired both a lead by Franz Schubert, and more importantly for this bonus, an iconic hit for Scottish folk icon Donovan, 10H part one. Name this German romantic poet who described a man whom only snarling mongrels care to venture near as he plays a hurdy gurdy with rosy fingers. Schubert made two song cycles out of this poet's works, including Winterizing. Sorry, not Nazi. Müller. Wilhelm Müller's friend. This English poet of My Last Duchess inspired his own Donovan song with his celebrated setting of the Pied Piper Band. Robert Prompt. Robert Prompt. Donovan also covered this song, which Amiens sings and Jake's parodies in The Forest of Arden in Act Two of As You Like It. The first Wessex novel featuring Fancy Day and Dick Dean, shares its title with this song. Sorry, not fast. <laughs> this is Under the Green Moon Tree. Ted Breached. Class of 11 is history. 
A child prince who remained in this island's city of Kauai was the only member of his family to survive a wedding day massacre at Bibat Square. The guardian spear of this island, a client servant named Seymour, appears in its Wayang shadow puppetry. In the late book, Java, ten points. Yes. Yeah. Bonus is the miscellaneous bonus. Simon of Keza traced the ancestry of the Huns and Nayars to Hunor and Magor, the sons of a giant who may have been this biblical warrior. Ten H. Mark I named this builder of the Tower of Babel, a great grandson of Noah through his father Cush. Islamic scholars generally consider this man to be the otherwise unnamed king who constructs a giant crane so as to burn Ibrahim alive. Nimrod. 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 Yes. Uh, two, before W.C. Fields and Looney Tunes gave Nimrod's name its modern pejorative meaning, this composer used Nimrod as the punning title for a movie with its enigma variations. This early supporter of the mixed race composer Samuel Coleridge Taylor also wrote comic circumstances. Elder. Three. In the 1960s and 70s, the UK operated Nimrod, a 7 giga electron volt example of this type of particle accelerator. In this type of accelerator, the magnetic field increases over time so that relativistic particles remain on a fixed closed loop path rather than a spiral path. Cyclotron. Sorry, no, that's that one. Synchrotron? 2010. Cost 12. Social studies. This myth system believed that humans evolved from eating acorns to pine nuts to seeds and then to their present diet. A god in this myth system was born to a virgin mother and didn't grow skin until he was 600 years old. This myth system held that the earth, the 13 levels of heaven, and the nine levels of hell were created by the dismemberment of a half to Aztec for 10. Bonus is math. This adjective describes a more restrictive type of continuity seen in real analysis classes. Tenage Part 1 named this adjective that also describes a probability distribution where each outcome has equal probability, like rolling any number on a fair six-sided die. Uniform. Part 2. Uniform and standard continuity are defined in terms of conditions involving these two Greek letters. A rigorous limit-based definition of the derivative similarly uses these two letters, but is somewhat controversially not taught in the AP calculus curriculum. Epsilon and delta. This pathological fractal curve is uniformly continuous everywhere, but it's also non differentiable everywhere. This function was specifically invented by its German namesake to challenge non rigorous approaches to analysis. Hand to hand, I have a score of Wabanzi Valley, 240 points, Buffalo Grove, 190. Yep. Yep. Zero, zero. Right? Everyone stand up. Wrong line. Stand up. Stand up. Thank you. 
Welcome back in, everyone. I'm Ponce Town. Buffalo Grove, you sounds. Both coaches agree on the board. Yes. Do a good. test buzzer. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's start with the rear of All the way. All right. Best of luck, both teams. If anyone used your cell phone, now is a good chance to sign it. Here we go. Class of 13, literature. In a novel by this author, a gigantic black and white rabbit named Bismarck attacks two girls who are only saved when the heir to a mining fortune karate chops the rabbit's neck. In a short story by this author, a woman is told that her husband has perished in an accident by a pig. Show me. Sorry, I'm talking about that. Husband is perished in an accident by a hit manager who knocks over her vase of chrysanthemums. After visiting coal mines at Ifrit, one of this author's protagonists returns to Ragu. Lawrence. E. H. Lawrence is recognized. The bonus is history. It was once fashionable among scholars to claim that the Exodus story was based on the expulsion of these people by the pharaoh Akmos I. The Tenage Part I named this ethnic group, likely originating from Canaan, that became the first foreign power to rule Egypt during the 15th dynasty. They made their capital at Avaris, and the famed rhymed mathematical papyrus was prepared during their reign. Hyksos? Hyksos is correct. Among new technologies introduced by the Hyksos were the compound bow and this horse-drawn vehicle. Thousands of these devices would later be employed by the Egyptians when they fought the Hittites at the Battle of Kadesh. Chariots. The downfall of the Hyksos began with the rebellion in this city. The rhymed papyrus was written in this city, possibly at its Karnak Temple compound. Luxor. All 30 of us. Plus 14, science. An ultra fast form of this process that often occurs near Lamellipodia is regulated by dynamics instead of slower proteins like AP2. Amyloid beta peptide splits off while the amyloid precursor protein is undergoing this process. SV40 and the cholera and Shiga bacterial toxins are model systems to study a form of this process that occurs at cellular wraps or cavioli instead of at coated pits. When binding iron, transferrin undergoes this process, then is recycled. In patients with familial, familial hyper... Bullying. Uh, sorry, no. In patients with familial, familial hypercholesterolemia, the LDL receptors that mediate this process are defective. The prefix pino describes a form of this process that is often analogized to cellular drinking. For 10 points, name this process by which cells use vesicles to uptake nutrients. Endocytosis. 10 points. Bonus of social science. Funcom and the International Yacht Brokers Association have hopefully compiled for you a list of bodies of water that can turn your 100-foot sun seeker into salvage. In each part one, intoxicated pleasure boaters can be a real danger to your yacht when sailing around the islands of Mallorca and Ibiza in this sea. You can name either the marginal sea or its larger parent sea, or the Bellier, part two. Navigating Japan's inland sea can be hazardous due to many hidden rocks and drift net fishing boats, especially between Honshu and this smallest of the four main islands of Japan. Shikoku. No, 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 sorry, can you repeat that? Shikoku. You see, I thought you said Shikoku. I, I, I heard something. I heard something. Good, good, good. 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 Good, good
An uptick in maritime terrorism in the past 15 years has made this body of water between Kalimantan and Sulawesi increasingly risky for unsecured vessels. Even so, it's still the fastest route from the Java Sea to the Sulawesi. Sea. Sorry, Sorry, no counts. Flores Strait? Uh, it's the Makassar Strait. Makassar. First two <coughs> Toss 15, history. Two brothers in this empire were punished for heresy by having 12 lines of bad iambic pentameter poetry branded directly onto their faces. Political prisoners in this empire were held in an underground dungeon named for Marco Aminas, where they were castrated and blinded. The so-called Four Doctors of Bologna commentated on the lost and rediscovered laws of this empire. The whole book? Uh, sorry, no. Lost and rediscovered laws of this empire, and another set of this empire's laws were compiled by 16 scholars into exactly 50 books for a digest. A wise leader of this empire translated its laws into Greek and named the collection Basilica after his predecessor, Basil. The Napoleonic Code was based on the Corpus Juris Civilis from the Byzantines. Bonus science. The acronym TROTH, which stands for Trough of Warm Air Aloft describes the boundary line of one of these fronts. If any chart one, what type of front occurs when a cold front catches up to a warm front and pushes it upwards? On a weather map, it's drawn with alternating triangles and circles on the same side. Sorry, no, occluded. Occluded. Part two. According to the Norwegian model, occluded fronts form extratropical examples of these systems, in which airflow encircles an area of low pressure. Depending on location, tropical ones are often called hurricanes or typhoons. And part three. The strongest extratropical cyclogenesis forms these storms in a sort of meteorological bond. These cyclones are prevalent in the North Atlantic because their polar jet stream falls above a warmer Gulf stream. Three on the score, 302. Oh, correct. That was a question, not a statement. <laughs> Do coaches agree with this one? Puzzle 16 is math. A metric space is complete if every sequence has a property known for this math. Cow sheet. That's right. Oh my god. god. Yeah. 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 This author of a step by step guide for training a cat to use a human toilet also penned a mind-blowing recipe for eggnog that begins by specifying each person gets an egg. Pretend each part one. In this eccentric jazz bassist who included Goodbye Pork Pie Cat on an album titled His Last Name, Ah Hum. Mingus. Correct. Charlie Mingus' 1964 album, Mingus, 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 includes a performance of this Duke Ellington standard, which opens, Now you have been blue, yes, but you ain't been blue till you've had the title feeling. Sorry, I'm just And part three. At the end of his life, Mingus collaborated with this more typically folk artist on a jazz fusion album that she released as simply Mingus. <coughs> this songwriter, who included A Case of You on her 1971 album Blue, performed both sides now at the 2024 Grammy Awards while continuing to recover from a brain injury. This is Johnny Mitchell. Oh, <coughs> Toss 17, social studies. Donald Griffin's experiments on bats led him to conclude that this quality is widespread in the animal kingdom. The false type of this concept, 
for a class that supports capitalism can only be contributed by dialectical materialism, according to a key tenet of Marxism. This ability exists if you can ask, what is it like, even if the answer is not readily accessible. According to Thomas Nagel's landmark paper, what is it like to be a bat? W.E.B. Du Bois's Souls of Black Folk popularized the idea that discrimination causes the double consciousness. Double consciousness. Yes. Nice. So this is literature. The torture scene from this novel ends when the sleep deprived narrator finally agrees with his captor that nothing, but also nothingness, is more precious than freedom. Change part one. Name this Pulitzer winning novel by Viet Khan Nguyen, whose unnamed narrator flees Saigon and serves as a North Vietnamese mole in the US. It's a sympathizer. The sympathizers' torture scenes in Vietnam, led <coughs> to hundreds of blindingly white lights, are a callback to this earlier American novel. The sympathizer parodies this novel's opening with the line, I am a sleeper, a spook, a man of two faces. Oh, we Avengers of Augie March. Sorry, that's not sleep. Wait, wait. This is Invisible Man. Oh, Part three. The sympathizer goes back to Vietnam to help the production of a film called The Hamlet, which is both a fictional version of Apocalypse Now and an allusion to an entry from this American author's Snopes trilogy, set in Jefferson, Mississippi. Oh, first and last one here. Does it contain fine arts? Anthony Gormley's first major sculpture is one of these objects, made entirely out of 600 loaves of dried up bread. Robert Rauschenberg's first combine was titled for one of these objects, smeared with red paint, and hung on a wall. In 1999, John Jung-shi and Tsai Duan jumped on one of these objects at the Tate Modern. That ready-made, a disheveled, stained one of these objects, is the most notorious work of Tracy Emin. A bright yellow and red one of these objects is the focus of Vincent Van <laughs> A bed. Bed's a Bonus is now. For predictably naturalistic reasons, Nikolai Lobachevsky is the namesake of this system in most Russian textbooks. Tenage part one. Name the system of non Euclidean geometry in which the standard parallel postulate is withdrawn in favor of the notion that multiple lines through a given point could avoid intersecting a given line. Hyperbolic. Hyperbolic yeah. geometry. Part two. A two-dimensional unit disk that models hyperbolic geometry is named for this French mathematician. This man is also the namesake of a ten-dimensional isometry group important in modern physics, as well as a conjecture solved in 2003 by Gregory Perelman. Yeah, what? Sorry, not that. Poincaré. Part three. In addition to disks named for Poincaré and Klein, this shape is also used to model hyperbolic geometry. At all points, this shape has a constant curvature of negative 1 over r squared, inspiring its name in relation to a more familiar shape whose curvature is positive 1 over r squared everywhere. Sphere? Sorry, no bounds. Five sphere. Sorry, no, it's a pseudo sphere. Sphere is the one with the positive 1, the pseudo sphere is the one with the negative 1. Okay, uh, 10, 15. Plus 19, social studies. After Pharaoh's heart is hardened for the first time, Moses tells him that Israel is this specific type of person to God. During the ceremony of Pidyon Haven, these people are symbolically repurchased for five shekels. The death of these people, or Makat Bet on the 14th of Nisan, is memorialized by spilling a drop of wine out of a glass. People with this role served as Jewish priests before Levites. Sons? Uh, prophets. Uh, firstborn sons? Templars. Yes, yes. Bonus science. These super atoms are yeah. examples of these objects that chemically react like their individual atoms. Ten H part one. What common noun is used to refer to single digit nanometer assemblies of a few dozen atoms? The field of chemistry that deals with boron compounds is often named for these objects. Nanoparticles? Sorry, no counts. Minuscule colloids? These are clusters. Part two. If you replace the metal atoms with semiconductors, the cluster resembles one of these particles. Their quantum like behavior, including luminescence, earned their discoverers the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2023. Oh, quantum dots. This is quantum. Quantum dots. This is quantum. Yes. <laughs> part three. 
Metal clusters can form non-spherical geometries when they crystallize around these molecules, like CO or ethylene diamine. These compounds bind to metals in coordination compounds. Ligands. Last two returns. Time out 60. Race to four. Great numbers. Five left. Five. 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 I don't know where I missed it. Yeah, I don't know where I missed it. 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 Mike, that is right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So, welcome back, everybody. After the timeout, we have five tosses left with a tie score and three dirty three points. Uh, we'll move on to the audience. Buffalo Grove. No points. Good. Best of luck, all teams, as we continue on with toss 20, which is history. A leader of this organization published the pamphlet Meat versus Rice to argue for his support of the Chinese Exclusion Act. John Llewellyn Lewis broke with this organization's voluntarism and founded a rival to it in 1936. The AFL. It's correct for 10. Bonus is math. Many recent improvements on the computation of this operation are galactic algorithms. That is, an algorithm whose benefit is only applicable at ridiculously large scales that aren't seen in applied use. Change part one. In this operation that is associative, but notoriously not commutative, especially when performed on objects whose dimensions are n by n and n by anything other than n. Matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication. Part two. For a square matrix with n rows and n columns, this is the worst case runtime of the basic matrix multiplication algorithm in big O notation. A 1969 discovery improved on this runtime. So, big O of two to the n. Sorry, not fast. Big O of n squared. Big O of n cubed. Part three. This algorithm was the first method that improved on n cubed runtime. Since 1969, there have been new discoveries that are faster in certain situations, but this method remains useful in most practical applications. Can you, do you, sorry, no, Thomas. Go. That's another one. Sorry, this is Strassen's algorithm. First part, pretend. Thoughts 21, fine arts. In this work, the third chord of a recurring, dramatic B flat, A flat, E major motif is surprisingly played pianissimo, just as a man finds a key hidden in a statue of the Madonna. An aria in this work ends with the repeated cry, Tanto la vita. Tosca? Yes! yes. 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 The notion of American exceptionalism is usually credited to this scholar after he visited the US in 1831. Pretend each part one named this French author of Democracy in America. 
It took me to expect. <laughs> Looking further back, other scholars credit the first description of Christian exceptionalism to the description of a city upon a hill from the sermon A Model of Christian Charity, given by this secular leader in 1630. Winthrop. Specifically, the influence of Winthrop's sermon owes largely to the founder of American Studies, a historian with this surname and first name Perry. A 19th century American with this surname gained fame for arguing that the cleansing of the sanctuary in Daniel chapter 8 was inevitable. Darrow, sorry, no, that's Tyler. Sorry, this is uh, Miller. It's Perry Miller and then William Miller. But Miller is in the apocalypse. So, how many ounces? First two for tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I have 36350. That's what I have. Yes. Going into task 22. Now, this function of y over x is approximated as xy over the quantity x squared plus 0.28125 y squared to make it accurate over all four quadrants. The phase of a control element is calculated using this function after plugging in s equals j omega. Machian-like formulas calculate pi by plugging 1 into this function's power series, resulting in 4 minus 4 thirds plus 4 fifths, and so on. The antiderivative of 1 over the quantity x squared plus English tangent and points. Oh, I don't know. This literature. This author's 2023 bestseller, The Fraud, is based on a historical trial in which a butcher from Wagga Wagga, Australia, claims to be Roger Titchborn. Tenich Part 1 named this author, whose recent fiction has mellowed from her 2000 debut novel, an example of hysterical fiction that invented an organization called Keepers of the Eternal and Victorious Islamic Nation, or Kenneth. Sorry, no, Zadie Smith. Zadie Smith is nice. Part two. In white tea, members of Kevin protest this real life British novelist in 1989, the year he went into hiding after publishing a novel that was accused of blaspheming Muhammad. Hysteria is absent from On Beauty, Smith's brooding update to this 1910 novel. This novel, which implores readers to only connect, is titled for the Wilcox family estate that is unexpectedly bequeathed to Margaret Schlegel. Howard Zen. Howard Zen is nice. Ten and twenty-six. Mm -hmm. Class of twenty-three, science. A targeting system for a proposed factory that would study this particle was tested by CERN's merit experience. The seesaw mechanism applies. Oh, no. Sorry, no. Oh. The seesaw mechanism applies to these particles, which have their own cosmic background of about 1.9 Kelvin. This is the lighter of two particles produced when a charged pion decays. The Sudbury Observatory's director shared the 2015 Nobel Prize for proving these particles' oscillations. An apparent solar deficit of these particles was found in the home state experiment. Neutrinos. Cool. A portrait of this person standing akimbo was destroyed in a Whitehall fire, so the English National Portrait Gallery contains only a cartoon made in preparation. Tenich Part 1 named this English monarch who employed Hans Holbein the Younger. Henry VIII. Henry VIII. What does survive of Holbein's work for Henry is a medicine painting of John de Bintville and George de Selle, two people with this title profession. Ambassadors. So the ambassadors from the ambassadors. After Holbein fell out of Henry's favor, probably for making Anne and Cleves look too good, he painted a portrait of Lagos of Corinth, the courtesan of this ancient Greek painter. <coughs> Holbein was nicknamed the This Man of Our Time, and Botticelli was one of many who tried to recreate this artist's columnar off a description by Lucian. A palace. A palace? Spread for all the yes, that's it. Just go finish. Go finish. Oh my god.
Oh my god. I told that again, like literally right after the uh, right after the buzz wrong, I knew it because it says sir and you went to Fantastic game, folks. Also, 24 is literally here. In this play, a twig is helpfully labeled with a sign that says, This is it. A character in this play, nicknamed the Philosopher, claims to sit in the grandstand of life simply awaiting his forthcoming death as the big sleep. A Baltimore correspondent named James Cameron frequents this play's setting, which is alternately called the Bottom of the Sea Rat Cellar, or the No Chance Saloon, and which is where the son of an anarchist jumps off a fire escape. In this play, a salesman confesses to murdering his wife in a pub in Greenwich Village. For 10 points, name this play about Piggy Hickman. I said pub. Bonus is social studies. The Easter and Vanier ended their war with a truce by spitting in a vat. The spit was used to form this mortal. The ten inch name this incredibly wise teacher who traveled the world until Fowler and Dollar murdered him and harvested his blood. Kvasir's nice. blood is then mixed with honey to produce this substance. Anyone who drinks this becomes a scholar or scholar. Do you need a potion? Part three. Kvasir's murderers, Fowler and Dollar, are two of these beings. The sons of the same word. All three points. <laughs>